Friends, welcome back to Chernobylites. I hope you are well. Today we're going to be going through the web of lies because we have found enough clues on the NAR to figure out what they're actually trying to do with Chernobylites here. If you haven't seen the previous episodes and you're confused what's going on, they're linked down below in the playlist in the description. You can watch them all in order there. They're all um, positioned chronologically so you can't really go wrong. Thanks for letting me know about the mic, guys. All right, let's continue. Run simulation. Yes. We're entering VR. Very fancy. So this is a reconstruction of all the clues we've yes, found so far. We think that this subject could be the key. Patient zero. Yes. She was pregnant. Only a couple of weeks. Yes, we were surprised too. No, she won't tell us who the father is. Based on the intel that our friends in the KGB provided us with, we've got two possible candidates. Unfortunately, one of them is already dead. Hmm. Interesting. They were testing out Chernobylite on these people, these innocent people. So I think we're about to discover what they found out in their tests. Its effects on humans, I'm sure. Absolutely, comrade. We've taken every precaution to make sure that Emilieva and her child are safe and sound. We're very curious, too. We could be on the brink of something big here. Yes, I will keep you posted. Dear God, Tanya? She... she was with child? Our child? And she think... was this patient zero. They were using her for their experiments from the start. Dude. Because at the end of, like, we, we found the other clues of Tatiana in the last stream, if you guys missed it. And we kind of... Tatiana's our wife, by the way, if you're just joining. Thank you so much for the super chats and bits, my friends. I really do appreciate the support, man. And becoming a member as well. Um, so we know that she was being spied on by the KGB because she she friend zoned someone called Oliver and they basically wanted to get back at her. So they said that she was um, she was basically a spy for the West. And now it seems like she's with child after she was being abducted by the KGB. Which we didn't know anything about. We didn't even know how she went missing. Okay, I think we got to go through here. Find the next web of clues. 11th of June, 1990 evening. Prison cell. My little bird. My little sweetheart. Soon, you will see the blue sky. The meadows. You will hear the sound of the ocean. Smell the pine trees. Feel the sunlight on your face. You're a very special boy. You have a bright future ahead of you. I want you to go far, far away from here and be happy. That's proper sad, man. This story is so dark. Channel 4, eh? What does it mean, though? Don't be afraid. I will always be close to you. In your heart, in your deepest memories, find me there. It's time. We have to hurry. I love you, my sweetheart. Your mommy loves you very, very much. Now go. Tanya was kept prisoner here. And her child. Did someone take it away from her? Seems like she managed to get rid of the child and set it free with somebody, though we don't know who. So our kid could still be out there. Very interesting. Oh, glad you managed to catch up on the stream, Blood Zeus. Appreciate that, dude. 23rd of March, 1991. This is a year later. Yes, this is regrettable. My men are looking into it. Regrettable? It's a fucking disaster. 
How could you let this happen? If someone finds out... Mind your tone, comrade. I was fighting in Afghanistan when you were still pissing in your underwear. Now the boy suffered from acute autism. Couldn't even speak. My bet is, he's probably lying in a ditch somewhere. So Kozlov is, Kozlov is still alive. He's still running the NAR. So However, more... he couldn't have escaped on his own. Someone helped him. Are you saying it was an inside job? It's too soon for definite conclusions, but yes, I would say so. So, it must be a spy, a CIA asset. A spy, eh? Working for the CIA. Interesting. You KG people see spies everywhere. That probably explains why your arrest records are so high. Saddam is on the brink of invading Kuwait. I'm sure the CIA has more pressing problems than your research. No, this is not the CIA. This is someone closer to home. Don't worry. I intend to find out who. Look, General, I'm sorry I spoke out of turn before. I really do appreciate your work. You are vital to our efforts. The Duga project and our research, it could be bigger than nuclear weapons, bigger than even the space wars. So who's her son? That is the question. Blood Zeus, thank you so much for the $10 super chat, dude. Thanks for the content, bro. This damn hot weekend, dude, I know it's so hot. I'm like dying out here. We're not built for the English weather to be this hot. If you guys are seeing like FPS drops, the game is very badly optimized. My PC specs are insane, so it's a bit of an odd one, really. Usually I don't have any issues running anything. I a had lot to is at stake here, even the future of the motherland. I already spoke with some of the party members, and... Let me be frank with you, comrade. The Soviet Union is falling apart at the seams, and I don't think anything can prevent that from happening. I'm not a scientist, but I've seen enough to know that this Chernobylite, on the other hand, could be the key to our future. We all have to do whatever's necessary to prepare for it. Oh boy, so that's where the NAR comes in, I guess. They wanted to harness the power of Chernobylites. We know that from reading the documents we found. Oh, Tanya had a boy, and he escaped. Was it mine? God, if it was, I can't. Oh, compose yourself, Igor. Looks like the KGB was trying to expedite the Chernobylite experiments. Maybe they were even hoping that the findings would prolong the life of the Soviet Union. Clearly, they didn't succeed. Clearly not. I love these memory sequences. Very Fallout 4. The game is green AF. Yeah, I think it's the current, like, tone they're trying to set with the, uh, the memory, you know? I want to see AKs, mate. I got an AK, don't worry. So it's the morning. We've discovered the lies. The web of lies. There are some more clues to be found, but... I wonder if the Black Stalker is her son then, because that's what I originally thought it could be. I don't know. It's crossed out there. We will see. Wouldn't make a lot of sense if that was it. Oh. are coming for me. I can see them skulking in the bushes. They sniff me out, the dirty rats. You have to help me, Mousy. I am the only one who can defeat the Rat King. The junkyard in Kopachi. You hold the fate of the world in your hands. Please, hurry. The junkyard, eh? We've not actually been there before, so this is going to be very interesting indeed. 
got free companions now to send off on their adventures too. So Kapachi, the, cr the crumb trail. I must have earned Tarkan's trust. The NAR is on his tail and I'm the only one who can help him. If I come to his aid, perhaps he'll return the favour? I don't really trust him. Why would he call on us anyway? He must be very desperate. But I do love his character, so we will definitely be going to help him. Let us drop some of our allies. Mikkel will send you over here. Um, medicine drops. Send Oliver. And Olga over here. They've got like 99% chance of being successful. Then let's begin the mission. Thank you so much. Princeless Sword. ESO sent you a message on Twitch with 100 bits. I'll repeat it here also. Thank you for being such a huge part of my childhood and teens. Have a nice day, sir. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the bits as well, man. Was it Grimpy Prime Primal Plays? Uh, okay, start mission. There we go. Into the, the new uncovered zone. Why did Tarakan turn to you for help? He's been here a while. Surely he has other people who can do his bidding. He knows more about you and me than he's letting on. Watch out, my love. That's true. Maybe he's your son. <laughs> that would be so ironic. Just gone crazy. Acute autism. What they said. Cute message. Day 12. Oh, oh no. Whenever it's green like this, it's always bad. Okay, one sec. I just want to um, go to video settings um, and go to... You guys are currently watching at 1080. I actually want to put this down to 1080 as well. See if that's changed the resolution. There we go. Shouldn't affect you guys, but I'm just finding this game's performance is pretty bad. And I want it to be a smooth 60 FPS, X, 60 FPS gameplay for you guys. Um, and the best way of doing that is to reduce the... Oh, hello. Come on, bear with me, friends. Got to move some things around and then we can continue onwards. What do you guys think of the game so far, though? I think quite a lot of you have actually been following along the stream, which I very much appreciate. Here we go. Now we are all ready to go. See if it runs any smoother. Just getting like a lot of micro stutter. Uh, okay, so this is the map. We need to go over here to do the crumb trail. So we might as well go here first. So the last time we were here... It was quite a clear day, but now it seems to be very radioactive. So I'm going to go ahead and build some wormhole blockers. Which stops the uh, enemy mutants spawning in. Not a lot of stuff to loot here. Ooh, there's already some creepy music. So yesterday, if you guys saw the short video I posted on my YouTube channel, I absolutely pooed myself when I got jump scared. I literally almost had a heart attack. We're going to check this building out anyway. Got my shotgun. Fully expect something to be inside here. It's too quiet, man. Maybe we should check this out, actually, while we're close by. A lot of materials in here. I think we're good. Impressive game from a small development team. Yeah, tiny team, man. Very small team that made this over a few years, actually. A very good job. 
just optimization wise is my only complaint about it to be honest and the ai could use improving both those things can be improved okay so we've got to go um over there oh, i didn't know you could get in through this window good to know I can't see any enemies anyway. I think we're pretty much alone. Who's this guy? I think he's a friend, so I'm not gonna locksmith. Ah. Hello, fellow prospector. Oh, we actually. So yesterday's episode. Uh, for those of you guys who couldn't catch up and watch it, um, we actually found the locksmith's brother in the NAR um, facility because we chose to let them abduct us and we had to escape the prison. Um, so I think we should actually be able to tell him about his brother. Let me chat to him. I have a favor I'd like to ask you. What's on your mind, stranger? I came across an old safe, but I can't open it. You seem to know a thing or two about locks, so I was wondering... Sorry, I need to focus on finding my brother, Athanasius. I can't afford any distractions. I found this on one of the bodies in the NAR prison. I knew it. I've had a terrible feeling for some time now. Athanasius came to me in a dream and... I guess I just didn't want to accept it. I'm really sorry. There was nothing I could do for him. The NAR must have captured and interrogated him. Did he suffer? I don't want him to become another vengeful spirit. I... I wish I could tell you that he didn't, but I honestly don't know. Thank you for letting me know. I guess there's no point in staying here any longer. Poor Athanasius. It was supposed to be our El Dorado, but fate decided otherwise. It's time for me to figure out what's next. Well, I never disclose trade secrets, but I do owe you for finding Athanasius. So, by the time you get back to the safe, I'll have it opened. Thanks. Sorry again about your brother. His karma caught up with him. Such is life. Stay safe. Stay safe. Uh, exchange food rations for gear. Do you have any have? hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. One lockpick for two food rations. One tactical armor. Oh, you have tactical armor. One sec. Let's see if I can. Let's see what. Uh, no. Ah, uh, you won't give safe it to me. Safe travels, right? my friend. We could build some, but currently we don't have the resources. Okay, so now we have it found him. We need to go over here. I think I've got to work my way up this road here. To get the location. We need to go for the main quest. I love the belt-fed revolver. It's so cool. Reminds me of Hunt Showdown, but I think I prefer the physics on this one, actually. saving. This place is so irradiated. I'm pretty sure there's going to be enemies around here. What's that? Something on the ground. Is that a dead cat? We just got... There's loads of dead rats. There's like a whole trail of them. This must be Tarkov's doing not Tarkov sorry what's his name Tarakan because he's always talking about the Rat King and whatnot I saw some soldiers over there though so I'm taking care looks like the old loon can handle himself just fine I'm a little bit worried about what we're gonna find a trail of dead rats well, that can't be a coincidence. They've got food rations in them, though, so I'm just eating them, apparently. They should be around here, somewhere. Can't see him. Oh, okay. There's a body here.
Dude, did he kill this guy? All right. Let's have a check around. I was telling me to go in over here now. I think it was intending that I followed the bodies of these dead rats. Let's have a quick check down in this basement though. Before we move on. It's the only thing down here. I dislike going in here. So he's all the way over here then. And some proper creepy music too. Okay, I'm gonna build um, another one of these. Because it will help us out in the future if we come here. They have like a, a one oh geez, I'm getting tons of rads here. They have like a one day timer to take effect, but um, once they do. Oh jeez, there's a guy with a shotgun right now. I've got my bloody torch on. So this guy will tank a headshot. Oh god. Just chilling there. I'm gonna have to... Oh, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to sneak past these guys. The other guy's moved on. Jesus. He's right there. Okay, we're good. He's l literally in that house. I can't take him out though, because the other guy will see us and he has the shotgun, so. Oh, it's not see smell. Other... Did someone take a shit out here or what? One sec, for some reason the chat's. Uh... There we go. Jesus Christ. Mate, we are so lucky, what the hell. This is a dead end, dude. I know there's a guy with a shotgun standing right here. Oh god, oh god, he's coming. All I can do is wait for this other guy to come back and then maybe we can take him out. Oh jeez, is he coming in here? It's nine rads, we're okay. He's going to come right in there. Jesus Christ, that was lucky. It's fallout on a $1,000 budget. It has a lot of um, Fallout elements with, like, the base building system. And here's someone over there. Oh, there's a guy right there. We'll just watch where he goes, and then we'll, we'll try and take him out. Toss a rat to distract them. Sadly, you can't throw stones. I don't think the AI would be that smart anyway. I can hear two sets of footsteps. I should have brought that goddamn power bar. I'm starving. Dude, there's a guy right here. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. We might be able to take him out. We can't stealth take down that guy though. Isn't ideal. Oh my god, I'm so surrounded. 
There's no way someone's going to see me here, man. That guy's looking right at me. I wonder what's for dinner. I hope it's not that fucking pea soup again. Okay, he's moving on. This other guy's coming. Dude, what the hell? This bush is saving my life right now. Jesus Christ. We're going to have to take them out, man. There's no way. I mean, we could try and build a trap. Which one has, like, no noise? This one makes no noise. Okay, okay, we got one. Hopefully, the traps will protect our flank here. Where the hell is he? I can't even bloody see it. Jesus Christ. Okay, there's quite a lot of them. There he is. Ammo is very expensive, so I don't really want to waste a full clip in. Literally can't see him through the bush. Oh god, is there a guy right? Oh Jesus, there's loads of guys. Holy crap. This may be the end. We're, we're gonna have to screw it and use uh, our assault rifle here. down. Look how tangy this guy is. Right, we're good. Got the banana mag. Look at the size of that thing. They're definitely not flanking me, are they? Jesus. Oh boy, okay. He's hold up over there. We need to get out of here. Fuck. This guy's dead. Luckily I brought this extra healing with me. We need also need some vodka, otherwise we go insane from all the uh, damage we're taking. Vodka, like, immediately refills your sanity. Headshot. There we go. Damn, why is this area so hot? Right, now we got to loot everyone. There was no way we could have stealthed through that section. I think my mines killed one of the guys, though, which is nice. I didn't stand a chance, though. We were better off avoiding this area. NAR must have really worked him over. I hope he's still alive. Dude, I've killed everyone. Better still be alive. Alright, where are the rest of these weapons? Another one down here. Where's Lydia when you need her? Literally. Would have been a lot easier. Got tons of ammo, though. All that ammo. I'm 
got another shotgun as well. Can you sprint in this game? Yeah, you can. Like that. Come on. There we go. I think that's pretty much everything, apart from the guys we haven't looted yet. Right, where is he hiding then? He's over here, apparently. I assume there's going to be more guys. We'll just save the game quickly. Since we've com committed genocide just there. And 22 rats. That was our friend you killed. You can thank your lucky stars we're in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now. Wait, he's there. Oh, I see. Jesus, you've reached a new level. Okay, well, this is really shit time to tell me, brother. I'm. Oh my god, I'm getting like slowed down by the fire. Okay, we died. Fuck. <laughs> that was the first time we died. Okay, I saved just before. So I think we could probably do a much better job of that. I think they had him hostage, so you had to like. It was like, if I'm going to do something, I need Your to do it now. Search has finally Otherwise, caught up I'll with kill you. him. Who knows what the NAR will do to you now? You don't want to find out what they have planned for you, my love. You have to find a way out. Hello there, dude. Oh, wait, why is it. One sec, what the fuck? Why have I reloaded here? Auto save, manual checkpoint. What the fuck? Should be this one. My bad. Why did Tarakan turn to you for help? He's been here a while. Surely he I'm has other people who can do changed. it. Dude, we cannot die. It's not possible. I need to punish myself now. We must act like real life, eh? Alright, so we know he's literally up ahead there. I'm gonna have to come in from like a different angle though, right? Because... Getting like, whoa, there's so many rads. Okay, good. Okay, so he's just over here. So if I approach from the bushes, it will at least give me the element of surprise. I can already see one guy. That was a friend you killed. You can thank your lucky stars we're in a hurry. Don't rush it. I want to watch him sweat away his last seconds before the bullet. For Misha. If I'm going to act, it has to be now. A dig in his grave right now. <laughs> Point blank shotgun. Let's go, boys. Oh shit. This is not good. One shot is all I need. Oh my god, oh my god, here we are. Danger close. This guy's run into the bush, don't even know where he's gone. This guy's down. He's down. We need to heal, we're gonna die otherwise. Just gonna have a med kit. I've only got one. That's good enough for me. Uh, and then, let's see if we can use this for the anti-rads. Should have really used that first, but I was panicking. Dude, we saved him. That was everyone. Divine providence guided your hand. I'm too important to be killed by NAR's minions. I love this guy. He's so weird. Looks like we're bound to keep running into each other anyway. Besides, I need allies. Allies, ask him to join you. Tell him, leave him. No, man. Let's ask him to join us. After all that, there's no way he's not joining us. What do you reckon, guys? Have this creepy rat king guy join us? <laughs> we seem destined to keep running into each other, so you might as well come on board. Your heart is conflicted, Mousy. I'm not sure what to make of you. You helped me, but I cannot forget that you failed the great rat catcher's test. Well, you got what you wanted, didn't you? I covered your tracks, and the NAR didn't get into your place. That's true, Mousy. 
<sighs> I'll join you, but you're on probation. Make sure that you don't disappoint the great rat catcher again. Or me, for that matter. He reminds me of Radagast the Brown. <laughs> Off you go. Oh, I love him. He's so good. King of Mice. The Crumb Trail. So they're making him dig his own grave here. These guys are savages, man. Manages to take them all out anyway. We'll just loot this area quickly and then we'll head back. They're good to stay for a little bit at least. I'm sure there were more bodies in this. Can't see any more though. There's tons of rads over here. Alright, what am I gonna do then? I'm going to build quickly before we go. Um, oh, I cannot build while my life is in danger. What are you talking about? Why is my life in danger? Is it because there were rads there? I don't even know, mate. Okay, let's go ahead and build. Where can I put this? I don't have enough parts. I don't have any electronics. Okay. We're not going to build that then. In that case, we'll just go back to base camp since we're done here. Um, where's my teleportation device? Here it is. How's the game so far? I'm really enjoying it. The AI could use a lot of work. Um, but the story's like very much keeping me playing. Like I'm really enjoying that. Um, and also, I like the, the environments. It's only from a small indie company, so they're not like huge, massive open world like Assassin's Creed or Skyrim, but like it's there's enough here that it's really fun. I've got some questions for you, and it's very important that you answer as best you can. I will certainly try, Mousy. Ask about the music box, yes. So we know Tatiana's music box was bugged by the NAR, by the KGB, um, and she was being spied on by Oliver. I don't know if the game's assuming we don't we haven't seen that yet because we've already pieced together all the clues, but let's ask him anyway. First, how did you get Tachana's music box? She came to me. The woman in the red dress. She came to you? Where? When? In my dreams. She has haunted my nights for years. She told me where to find it. The music box. She mentioned you too. What did she say exactly? She advised me that you could be an important instrument in the fight against the Rat King. She also wanted you to see the music box, to convince you that all this is real. Is this in the same region as Fallout 4 or better? This game is probably made for around half a million. Fallout 4 is probably made for like hundreds of millions. So to give you an idea, like, you know, the studio that made this are absolutely tiny. And this was their, I think, maybe their first or second game. Um, and it was also partially crowdfunded. So, yeah, like, the budget is tiny in comparison. So it's not really comparable. It's a great game. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely doing its own spin on the post-apocalyptic environment. But uh, it's very, very different in terms of quality, you know. Doubt in or share your dreams? Yeah, why not? We're crazy, anyway. I keep seeing her, too. At first, I thought it must be my imagination. But... No, don't say that. She's completely real. Don't doubt it for another moment. This guy's like egging us on. Ask about the NAR. Why was NAR trying to kill you? Isn't it obvious, Mousy? <laughs> Nothing is obvious to me right now. I'm the only person who stands between humanity and the Rat King. His minions will try to kill me every chance they get. Ask about Tarkan's identity. Okay, why don't you retire the act for a while? Who are you, really? What act? There is nothing more real than this. Tarakan is more real than you are. Ooh. Does your name have some special meaning? 
Tarakan means cockroach. And that is what I am. A humble being reborn from the ashes of Chernobyl's destruction. Tiny, but resilient. I used to be a person like you, Mousy. But when divine providence called upon me to face the Rat King, Tarakan was born. What a nutter. Finish the conversation. All right. Good talk. Mission success, the crumb trail. A little bit of mental damage from all the hordes of people I had to kill though. You've brought back 0 0.5 food. How that? How is that going to feed four people, man? We have a big team though. There's a lot of people to feed now. Our feed's going to start going down quite rapidly. Tarkan reminds me of Yoda. Lol. That's quite funny, actually. Alright then. Let's see what he can train us in before we carry on. Hello. Hey, you seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about the nuclear disasters in the West. They never got as much coverage in the press as Chernobyl. Not anything like it. But they didn't wipe out entire cities. I think the Americans just wanted to distract the world from what was going on in their own nuclear backyard. Interesting. Some might call it a conspiracy theory, but do you think Chernobylite has already been discovered someplace else? I really don't know. But if nuclear fusion is the key, then we should probably expect it to appear in other places. Hanford, Windscale, Boucher, Fukushima. There are about 450 operational nuclear reactors in the world right now. Yeah. Something to think about, eh? But hey. let's focus on what's in front of us. One problem at a time, Professor. Right. Can you build more fine farms? Yes, yes you can. There he is. Ah! I can't take it anymore. I don't want to. The torture, the suffering. What's happening? Is it a vision? I see a woman. A young woman. She's in so much pain. What? The rats got to her. They tied her to a tree. They're eating her alive. No. I can't watch. They're cutting into her. They're gnawing on her flesh, lapping up her blood. What are you babbling about? You're not making any sense. They are so, so hungry, these rats. Oh, you cannot believe what hunger will drive a living being to do. The Gulag. And the Zeno Island. The Gulag. Thousands of little city mice sent on a voyage to hell. My father was there. It rings a bell, but wasn't that before the war? It makes no difference, Mousy. Past, present, future. All are the same in the eyes of the Rat King. Oh, Who's that's the Rat King? Awful. I'm sorry about your father. Three meals are all that separate us from the rats, Igor. Crazed with hunger. Oh, you and your damned rats. Oh, our relationship is currently bad with him. Interesting. Wow, we don't want it to get any worse, do we? Otherwise, he'll leave. What's that, my bud? I was <laughs> just thinking, Mikhail. How did you get to be so knowledgeable about herbs and plants? Why? What's so goddamn strange about that? I never said it was strange. I'm just curious. You created your own compendium. No small undertaking. I studied a lot, you know. You studied botany? At what school? Best fucking school there is. The University of Life. I see. <laughs> Give me that look. You can trust everything I wrote down to the letter. I've always been into plants and mushrooms. All different kinds. Everything in my compendium has been tested by me personally. So if you've got a problem with any of it, you can stick it where the control rods don't shine. Really? But some of this stuff must be poisonous. Well, I have a strong stomach. But yes, I've had my share of accidents. Luckily for me, my stalker friends were there to save me. Adrenaline and gastric lavage are my bosom companions. Sounds serious. How else would I know what's edible? It's a little something I call the scientific method. You should check it out yourself sometime. <laughs> Wait, are you a scientist? 
ingesting unidentified plants and mushrooms doesn't sound like the scientific method. It sounds Box like suicide. But I'm here, though, am I not? That means I'm right. Okay, fine. I just hope Science. my stomach is as strong as yours. Give me my plants. I could make a rail rifle. I kind of want to try that out. We have enough electronics in the base. Should we make one and test it out? In comparison, the plasma thrower does 10 damage. This has better range of stability. Let's make it. I'll also make some ammo. So now we have the rare rifle. Let's hop here on number five. Um, move this out of the way. Oh, we also need to make some more uh, Chernobylite destroyers. There we go. Now, and we just need to talk to Olga. Olga. Her name is. Do you have a moment? Yes. What's on your mind, Olga? I was thinking about an old woman I used to know, Alina. She lived in our village. She had so many stories to share. About the revolution of 1917, collectivization, the Great Famine, Nazi tanks rolling through the marshes, her husband dying in the Great Patriotic War, persecution by the NKVD, the Chernobyl disaster. Fascinating. She must have been at least a hundred years old. She was very old indeed. Nothing could shake her. She never stopped wandering the woods and marshes of Prefiats gathering herbs and mushrooms. Until the lurkers killed her. Such a pointless death. I'm sorry. She must have been a very brave woman. I asked her once, what kept her going through all those dark years? Do you know what she said? I wanted to live. Shrooms. It was as simple as that. Life is precious, and you only get to go around once. So I want to make mine count. Do you understand? I'm not dying because of a stupid mistake. Hopefully we can avoid that, and you'll lead a long and productive life once we're finished here. Well, as my stepdad Matve would say, nobody wants to exit the stage, but everyone does, eventually. That's literally how she died, though. So, okay. The last thing we need to do is talk to our... F Actually, we need to make some more resources. Because my psyche is very low. Use. Have that. Um, so we need one more of those and one more radiation. Make a couple of these actually just for healing. There we go. And then we can ask for training from our new follower to see what he can actually give us. What's the matter, Mousy? Uh, right. So hey there, train. Tarakan. I was wondering if there's anything you'd like to teach me. But of course, I have been blessed with the wisdom of the great rat catcher, and I've also spent a lot of time in the zone. I can give you some pointers. So, saving. Everything built and crafted in the refuge is 10% cheaper. That's pretty good for, like, everything, including ammunition and stuff. Camouflage. Enemies will need more... E everything built and... Sorry. Camouflage. Enemies will take more time to notice you. That's really good. I think we're going to get that. Software upgrade. Environmental, analyzable highlight enemies. I feel like this is more useful because that allows me to sneak around super easily compared to camouflage. We'll get this software upgrade first. I'm ready to learn. Yeah, this is the full game. They've, they've given it to me early so this I can... This is a good uh... day for you, Mousy. For today, you get to be the cat. Thanks to your PDA thingy upgrade. You can now detect those pesky NAR soldiers, shadows, and living creatures in general. I also replaced your regular battery with a more advanced one. For a while, you'll be able to run a scan more often than usual. But throw it away afterwards, or it will explode. 
Whether you're out on a hunt or simply trying to avoid danger, it's pretty useful if you ask me, Mousy. Now let's do a live practice. I'll hide and you find me. I hope okay. you understood everything. You're such a clever Mousy after all. Close your eyes and count to 100. And no peeking. So we're literally going to play hide and seek with him. Black screen. Wait, oh, one sec. Wait, wait, bear with me. Bear with me, guys. Can't press escape. Okay, there we go. I think the camera may have overheated. I have to just change the camera. It's so hot, there's like nothing I can do. My house is like 32 degrees right now, like a just scuffed. <laughs> uh, one sec, guys. Right, resume. Right, no camera. Sorry, guys. The weather has killed the camera. Yep, I don't have anything else to use right now. Right, so we got to scan and find where he is, apparently. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Where even is he? He's genuinely a good hider. Oh, there he is. He's hiding over here. Where did that old fool go? Better use my PDA to scan the surroundings. I can't find him. Where is he? Ah, Mousy. This took longer than I'd hoped. <laughs> You'd better improve, or the next rat you meet will also be the last. Ooh, okay then. Tarkin. You make me proud, Igor. Under my guidance, you will become the ultimate rat exterminator. <laughs> All right, dude. How many skill points do I have left? Uh, I only have one. Okay, so we need one more before we can ask him for that other really useful skill for camouflage. So now I think we should just sleep. We've spoken to everyone. It's 22 degrees to see there. Well, good for you, dude. I'm literally dying. Are you sure you want to end in good sleep? Yes, I am sure. Thanks, dude. Keep the hydration up. You can hear me sipping on that G Fuel. It's 30% off this weekend, by the way, guys, so definitely take advantage of it while you can. Where are we on the Black Stalker? Okay, we've got like four clues there, two clues over here. There are multiple storylines. It's kind of like a main story, but also lots of side stories going on at the same time. You're right, dude. Just chilling here, eh? I need to talk to you, Igor. This is important. What's okay. going on? I've gotten word from Mefe. His scouts discovered a prison in the Red Forest. They just discovered it now? I thought you guys knew this place better than the mice. They discovered that an old Soviet bunker had been repurposed. It must have happened recently. Go on. We didn't know about it because there's no reason to venture out that way anymore. That part of the woods is crawling with lurkers and NAR goons. And... Matve thinks it's a prison. Exactly. Someone's being guarded there. Whoever it is, it could be important. I know it's a long shot, but I still think it's worth it. It's not heavily guarded either. Definitely worth a try. Do you think it could be your mum? No, I, I don't. I believe she's gone. I've made my peace with it a long time ago. So, I take it you want me to check out this bunker prison? I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. And Mathe is occupied elsewhere. Are you in? Be skeptical. Sounds like a fool's errand. It's clearly important, sir. Should we agree? What do you guys reckon? You want to go to the prison? What do we think? Option one. Agree. Okay. You've got a point. It makes sense to have this place on our radar. I'll check it out. Atta boy. Now go bring me back some good news. 
You can legit, like, just skip missions and miss tons of stuff in this game. You can even kill companions or they can leave your team. So, yeah, there's these are, decisions in this game actually genuinely make a huge difference. So, uh, there's a big mechanic behind decisions that is very interesting, too. So, we're going back to the Red Forest, which is an area I very much enjoyed. Um, but it was rather dangerous, not going to lie. A secret prison. So, I completely missed that last time I went. So we're going there. Where are we sending our followers? Just loads of... We don't even need ammo, but I mean, we're sending everyone to go and collect ammo for us, it looks like. Um, Michael, yeah, I mean, everyone's doing something now. I want to... Tarakan, you can go here. Yeah, uh, we've... We've not even got a full team yet. We're going to have one more person joining the team at some point. All right, let's go ahead and start. Going to the gulag, mate. You ready? You're going to the gulag. I always win I the gulag. I know you just want to do the right thing, but are you sure you're not wasting your time? You usually don't let your emotions cloud your judgment. This whole zone is littered with old Soviet bunkers and relics of the past. Why would the NAR be interested in any of that? I need He has no weapon, I think. What do you mean? Of course I have a weapon. I have four weapons right here. Including a rail gun. Look at that, huh? Pretty badass, isn't it? Right, what's this? There's gonna be a jump scare, I guarantee you. Luckily, the face camera's not on, so I'll be closing my eyes as I go towards that. Uh, we got to go over here. There's a lot of stuff to get through. I'll head over here first. It's just ahead. There's something up ahead. What's that? I just arrived in Red Forest. On my way. No, I can't scam for some reason. Oh, it's because it's it's still um, charging. There we go. Nothing else here. Now I got two skill points though. That's pretty useful. Right, so we've got to go over here. It's our next objective. A little bit concerned about what we could find here. We have built one, two, three wormhole blockers. Thinking I should actually build, I don't have enough electronics right now, but we need to find some so we can build one. Chemicals just sitting by a tree. See, who's that? That looks like a kitted guy. There's a bunch of guys in that ruin there. Should be able to sneak past pretty easily. Don't think there's anyone patrolling the road. Oh god. What's going on here? I'm gonna try and help him. Okay, I lost a lot of Psyche from killing him, but we actually saved whoever this is. Can I have a look? Wait, is he in it? Oh no, he is friendly. Deserter. Thanks. I guess I never expected a stalker to come to my aid. I didn't either. Ask about Tatiana, ask for a reward. Ask why the NAR wants him dead. What was this all about? Instead of helping these butchers round up civilians and shoot them, I ran. I couldn't leave the zone because of the perimeter, so I started a little trading operation to get by. Well, it didn't take long before my old NAR squad mates found me. Grisha, he... We used to be friends. We were close. But he couldn't forgive me for abandoning them. 
really? I think he was especially bitter about it because he was ashamed. I left and he stayed and did what he did. I killed our friendship, so Grisha volunteered to kill me. <laughs> okay, this is a bit intense, isn't it? Maybe I should kill you. Finish the job, huh? You gotta. Can't be a wuss. You gotta kill people if you're told to. They were direct orders. We never saved anyone, so I mean that was quite nice. There's something going on in the train station as well, which is interesting. So I don't know what it is. Don't know what we're going to find here. It's just up the track. Jesus, that's a lot of rads. Whoa. Hey you, what's going on? There was an explosion two days ago and now there are soldiers in Yaniv. And, and... Uh... Sorry fellas, I'm just the driver. They don't tell me anything. But if the army is there, we have to be safe, right? Oh boy, were they wrong. I got tons of experience with that, man. We already found that note last time we were here. I can hear an air raid siren. There's nothing down here. I'm not going in. Hear some weird noises, man. I don't like that. Okay, so we've got to go over here now. The other side of the barricade. Can we go down that path? It looks like it. Tons of rads around here, though. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of rads. Okay, we're good now. Stop, you violated the law. Is this Russia? Where's Ukraine? Chernobyl's in Ukraine. Everyone speaks Russian, so... No, you probably pissed someone off, though. Mushrooms? Mate, give me those. Yeah, Bethesda are using photogrammetry technology like this for Starfield and the Elder Scrolls 6. We've already seen that in the no clip documentary i did some coverage on so the game could legit look like you know this good i expect it to actually look even better than this potentially or oh, there's a soldier right there man right there we good okay we need to get around him See if I can take him out right here. He's quite far away from his squad. As long as he doesn't turn around, should be good. No one's seen me. We're good. I mean, if you listen to all the voice actors, uh, I wouldn't blame you for mistaking that it takes place in London. I mean, this could be Britain right now after COVID anyway. Jesus Christ, somebody going to spot me. Yeah, there he is. I don't know if they're tra traveling in twos or threes. This area... Oh, okay, he's he's kitted, I think. I'm going to go and headshot him, I reckon. I think... I, yeah, there's another guy over there I can see. We got a silencer on this gun though, so. Oh wow, you have a lot of stuff. Your inventory is full. Okay, well, we can actually use up some stuff here. Uh, can I? I have so much ammo. Jesus. What have I been doing this whole time? Um, I mean, we might as well use this. It's not going anywhere. Right, so we're literally right next to the location. Let's save the game here quickly. The 
Apparently there's a secret prison inside here. It's rock. Doesn't surprise me, knowing what the KGB are capable of. Olga, I found the entrance. Watch out for guards. They're probably close by. Of course. Where else would they be? Wow. <laughs> Cringe. This is very cool, though. I'm a big fan. I'm so immersed in this game, man. I keep forgetting. I can use this now to actually just scan for guards. So I can see that that one's there. He's actually on his own. So I can take this guy out easily. He's a sitting duck. Stealth, take that. Get Rex up. How's the game so far? Thought about getting it a while ago. So my only negative things I have to say about it is it's very badly optimized. Um, uh, I've got a very beefy PC and even I'm like struggling to run it at times. That kind of gives you an idea. Um, but in terms of the story and like the style of gameplay, it's really unique. They've definitely gone their own way with the post-apocalyptic games. And I'm very much enjoying it so far. Um, I'm actually quite addicted to this game. I'm really loving it, to be honest. The AI could use some improvement, but like so far, I'll probably do a full review at some point on the YouTube channel. Ah, oh, that wasn't built by me, but that is to stop enemies coming through in wormholes. Why is that there? Very peculiar. Why is that in here? Someone else has built that at some point. This is probably locked. Open that. Some more food. I can see there's an enemy through there. Oh, actually, there's someone in prison here. Interesting. Yeah, they're not an enemy. They're not triggering. Who is that in the prison, then? I wonder if it's the traitor again. Though we did already free him, and he went off on a separate sort of storyline mission, so... We don't know what the result of that will be yet, based on our decisions. There's a computer here. Oh, there's a guy. Okay, let's speak to this guy. I just want to save the game. See what happens. Kid. A kid. Hey, little guy. What are you doing here? This is no place for children. No kidding, <laughs> old timer. Let me out of here before the guards come back. What's your name, kid? I'm Gleb. I didn't do anything wrong. Let me out of here, or my Is uncle will take the crap out of you. Okay. Oh, 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 easy there, little fella. I'm not little. I'm already ten, you know. Uh, ask about the prison. Ask about the kid's uncle. Who's your uncle? Someone important? Of course he is. He's a big shot around here. When he hears what happened to me, heads will roll. That's exactly what he'll say. Hmm. I wonder. Is your uncle in the military? He was in the army like my daddy, but mummy and daddy are both in heaven now, so uncle is taking care of me. I'm sorry about your parents. So, he's a soldier, eh? He's working on something big and important for important people, but I don't know what it is. You're a riddle wrapped in an enigma, my dear lad. Your uncle's doing a great job taking care of you there, kid. You're down here in a bloody cell in the middle of nowhere. Ask about the experiments. Well, let's ask about the prison first. First? I need to know how you ended up here. What is this place? I was going to visit my uncle. He was supposed to pick me up in Slavutich and... This black van came after me. There were two big guys with faces like potatoes. They said that they would take me to my uncle and they gave me a can of coke. It's supposed to wake you up, but I got really sleepy. Oh. They kidnapped you? You were groomed. When I woke up, I was in here. Day I rape. wasn't scared. I didn't even cry. Maybe just a little. I'm almost a grown-up. I tried to escape once by myself, but the stupid guards caught me and put me back in this cage. And and one of them said, if you try and run again, you'll regret it, little rat. But I'm not like a little rat at all. Rats stink and poop everywhere. You're little the rat. bravest little boy I ever met, Gleb. I told you, I'm not a little boy. Dude, like, this kid was put in here by Tarakan because he said he was called a little rat. So, maybe he's in here for... I mean, he is a kid, but he's in here for a reason, right? Like, 
Tarakan's put him in here. I don't know why. Maybe Tarakan's using this kid as leverage against the boy's uncle. That would make sense. Ask about the experiment. I want to help you, Clip, but I need to ask you something first. Okay? Okay, okay. But hurry up before the guards come back. I hate them. They stink like onions in medicine. What kind of medicine? I don't know, but my uncle drinks it too. Says it's good for his heart. He always carries a small bottle of it in his chest pocket. Really smelly. I see. That kind of medicine. These men, did they ever hurt you? Did they give you something? Shots, maybe? Or pills? No, they only yelled at me when I told them to let me go. Did they put you in a weird machine? Or give you chino uh, green crystals? No, never. Huh, curious. So you have no idea why they put you in that cage? They'd say I'd be collater... collateral? Something like the bear. Collateral? Indeed. Maybe. I don't know what that means. They said that my uncle knows I'm here and he's coming to visit soon. But I there bet they're go. liars. Poor boy. You've been through a lot. Can I see my uncle now? Please, please, please. Do we love... So, oh, this is kiddo, sus. Just give me a minute to think here. What do you guys think? Wrap up conversation. All right. Time to what bust you out think? of here. Do we let him out? Thank you. I'll tell my uncle that you're a really nice person. Igor, look. If you think things through, you realize the light is safer right where he is than out in the zone. True. True. He is safer here than in the zone. That is true. What Olga, do we do? I found something. A control panel. Perhaps it opens the cell doors. What now, Igor? Do you have any babysitting experience? Literally. And the kid should stay in the bunker for now. Even if he's a prisoner, he's protected. He's safer in there than outside. How about sending him to Madface? You said it was reasonably safe, right? Not a place for kids. Everyone needs to know how to fight. What are they going to do with him anyway? Why can't you just, I don't know, open that portal of yours and send him to your base? I thought about it. But it's too risky. He's too small. The molecular structure of his body may be irreversibly changed. In that case, I'm telling you, leave him right where he is. He can't train me in anything. Release him or leave Gleb in the cell. What did you guys rate Gleb? You think he's going to be useful? <laughs> leave him. <laughs> All right, we'll release him. Screw Olga. Olga, I'm sending the kid to your village. I really hope you thought this through. He'll have to grow up very fast over there. They're not going to go easy on him. The village is the only safe place in the zone. He's definitely going to die on the way. Lucky I need a password, eh? Jesus Christ. My, I thought there was like a guard standing there. There's a village nearby, Glib. A stronghold full of people, like soldiers, but on our side. They'll shelter you. Just say, Olga sent you. Think you can make it on your own? No problem. I received a merit badge for my orienteering. Top of my scout unit. <laughs> right. Not a little boy. Achievement unlocked. Fantastic. Look at this kid. Olga will not like this. I don't give a crap for Olga. My current state is Olga is bad. That's his Nick Wood. Nine. Right. Well, is there anything in your prison cell? No. Just a, a rocket to the face. We just kill it. And we could solve everyone's problem. I don't understand. Why is Olga like, oh, you should have just let him starve in that prison cell? What an absolute bitch. I still don't know why this is here. Oh, Jesus. So, there is... Nothing else to do on this map. So, we can actually just pull out of here now. Oh, there we go. Equip. I think he's stronger than he looks. A boy scout. We'll see, we'll see. We'll find out. How weird was that, huh? 
Discovering a secret NAR prison in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. I guess it pays off to follow every lead. If it wasn't for you and Madvi, we might never have found this place. It was nothing. I'm happy you saved that kid. I really am. I want you to know that. They told me you arrived safely in the village. Uh, I still think it was the wrong decision at the time, but you were under a lot of pressure. Anyway, next time, please listen to me, little babushka, okay? You literally just admitted that you were wrong and then told me that. Listen to me anyway. Are you dumb? I'm not gonna listen to you, Olga. Okay, we got some ammo. Some plates. What's this? Some ammo. Oh, well done. Tarkan, what did you give us? Oh, yes. Very nice. Everyone gets food. Same as me. Great. Yes. We'll find out what the consequences of that are shortly, I'm sure. I can hear his voice again, Mousy. He whispers. The Rat King is talking to you. I wouldn't call it talking necessarily. It's more like a feeling of impending doom. Fantastic. Terror. It's always there, rustling about in the shadows. I can feel its gaze upon me, inhuman, infernal, like something from the void. Who is the Rat King? Bet you ask, what is the Rat King? Its mind is beyond the comprehension of us mortals, Mouse. But surely I can do something to help. You are helping, Mousy. Yes, of course you are helping. You are my right hand in the struggle against Rat King's forces. But the final battle will be mine and mine alone. Why, Tarakan? As the poet said, the best laid plans of mice and men often go to shit. <laughs> I see. And I'm the mouse in this quote. Why wouldn't you be, Mousy? Oh, training. Okay, so we wanted to ask him to train hey us there, in Tarakan. But of course, in I the can. other skill. Uh, camouflage. Oh, scan more frequently? Nah, we just want camouflage. Train. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Do do do. It is on Steam. You can actually grab it from the link below for cheaper, though. You know what the mouse's biggest strength is? Not its teeth. Not its size. It's the ability to become invisible. Or almost invisible. That is what I will teach you today, Mousy. The secret lies in camouflage and controlling your breathing. Ooh. You can't literally become invisible. Only I can do that. And the Rat King. <laughs> but you can make yourself almost indistinguishable from your surroundings. Always stay in the shadows. Use vegetation to conceal your movements. Wear earthy colors like dark green or brown. Control your breathing. Be like a shadow. Be exactly like a mousy. Mousy. So, let's put this knowledge to the test. I'll be the Rat King, and you try to sneak up on me, Mousy. Mousy. Yeah, Mousy, Mousy. Ready when you are, Mousy. All right, let's do it, mate. Can't see me. Ah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm stuck. Stuck in the corner, mate. You can turn around again, really. He okay, stopped. Oh, jeez. There we go. Easy. Stealth takedown. Just fucking strangle him. You're a very gifted student, Mousy. Congratulations. I think you learned something today, Mousy. Hopefully it will be enough to keep you alive. You can hold your own, Mousy. Good, good. The Rat King won't know what hit him. Or her. Or her, yeah. I think you know who the Rat King is. Don't give me that. What's um, actually, did I give him any equipment? I don't Let think me take I a look did, at your gear. Oh, oh, yeah, he's been going out with nothing. Uh, okay, so currently he has a low combat and artifice and resistance. Okay, so if I give him this, his combat's going to go up by two. Or three. Oh, I'm tempted to give him 
Do I give him the shotgun? Kind of tempted to give him the shotgun, to be honest. Um, and then we need to make some armor for him. Let's quickly, actually, what's the matter, what's ever give you my armor? Let me take a look at your. Oh, of course. I'm tempted just to not bother carrying around a shotgun. I feel like it's you. It can be useful. I don't know. It's good against mutants. We'll give him this shotgun for now, and I'm not using it, so might as well. And then I, I should really make some armor for him and put some of my ingredients away because I have so many. Five lock picks, three of those. I have so much ammo. Let's go and store some stuff away quickly, guys. Uh, right, so we don't need all of this ammo. Wrong box. This is the ammo box. You can see it's overflowing with ammo. Just bring 20 with me. Uh, there we go. 10 shotgun shots. I can't have any more ammo. It's just ridiculous. Need another storage unit. Right. Uh, let's get rid of this. Recycle ammo. Um, don't need five metal plates. I already have five. Oh, individual recycling, eh? No worries. And then, we don't need three of these right now. Recycle that. Out of vodka. Um, let's go ahead and build another table. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Build a table just here. So I can expand the gardening center. And then we can build some more food. We don't need to worry as much about this situation. That'll give us some. Oh, we got another two skill points. Great. Very good. And then I'm going to build ourselves. What is this? Matter negator. It creates an area of matter that produces an advanced force field. You can also lock it into small batteries. Produces force field generator? What? Hey, I want one of these. Okay, I want to build this. Just build it here. So, let's have a look. So, this increases our movement noise. Requires matter. Gives me free protection. Movement noise minus two, but I still maintain camouflage. I don't have enough electronics to make it, but I do really want to make that when I can. Actually, do I have electronics in here? I can just use those. There's nothing. Oh, what's that? There is. Great. I can use this to make myself whatever this thing is. Can't craft insufficient resource. Oh, I don't have enough. Oof. I only got 5.8 in total. Right. I really want to try this gun out still. Okay, we'll put some of our meds in here because we don't need to take all of them with us and then we can quickly move on. Accept. Accept. Put these in there. And then we're good to carry on. Don't need anything else. Danny be stacking, mate. There's so, inventory management is the worst, right? Can we speak to How you? How do you do, Igor? Fine. Before I came here, I was involved with Greenpeace in Ukraine. Oh, that's commendable. 
Any successes? Well, the economic climate wasn't very good at that time. We staged some protests, I even chained myself to a tree once. But in the end, the police would show up and beat the shit out of me. Lol. Don't be so hard on yourself. And Joseph always had it rough in our neck of the woods. Yeah, it was like bailing out the ocean with a teaspoon. Somebody told me that when Greenpeace first came to Ukraine, they were immediately infiltrated by the KGB. I can't believe this world. Well, that was the Cold War mentality for you. Every foreign NGO worker is a potential spy or asset. Some officials promised to help us build an eco-housing project for Chernobyl survivors, but in the end, it came to nothing. The construction company dug a huge hole for the foundation that disappeared with all the materials. And that was the end of it. One giant waste of time. I wish I had been born in your times, Igor. I would have done so much more. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But you probably would have gotten yourself killed. Oh, great. Great. Really nice guy, Igor, there. Jesus Hi, Christ. I'd be Let's ask for some training. Organization, six more inventory slots. We could definitely use that. Or assault rifle does 25% more damage. No, inventory. Let's go. Fantastic. Train me. I'm ready to learn, oh great huntress. No joke so over cringe. training or I'll smack you upside the head. Got it? Rightly so, rightly so. Will this come to the Series X? It will come to the new consoles, I believe. All right. I it seems I've got my work cut out for me. This is going to be extremely difficult, maybe even dangerous. I thought you were going to teach me how to effectively pack a bag. How could that be dangerous? Dangerous for my mental health. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Firstly, I want to address the fact that, for some reason, I'm the only one who can teach you the art of packing. Presumably because I'm a woman. Find that sexist, extremely, and offensive. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Thank you. That said, I do have some tricks up my sleeve. Or should I say, up my bag. <laughs> uh, that I can share with you. Oof. Because frankly, Igor, when I look at the warehouse and how you furnish and organize it, it makes me weep. You? Weep? I never noticed. I'm weeping on the inside. My soul bleeds when I see this chaotic trash heap of grime and despair. No clean lines, no aesthetic, just a man cave reeking of testosterone. That's a little bit harsh, don't you think? But fear not, as a wise man once said, when the student is ready, the teacher reveals herself. And you're the teacher? Wow. Yes, I am. Here's the first Figiga. secret. It's all in your head. What do you mean? The chaos in your head translates into the chaos in your inventory. The more organized you are, the clearer your thoughts, the purer your mind, the better your packing skills. But That's true. But, but nothing. Don't argue. Don't deny it. Don't fight the truth. Just be silent and absorb. I'll let you think on this for a couple minutes or hours. Okay. That was very insightful. And it's as to how to pack a bag. Nice job. It's so great to work with someone who actually cares. I'm tired of whiny people's bullshit. Jesus Christ, she's an angry gal, isn't she? We have lots of more inventory space. I love it. Fantastic. Now we can... We can actually... Um, quickly, let's see if I can just build myself uh, the railgun crafting bench. I think it's over here. Over here. Uh, railgun crafting tools, yes. Ah, I need electric parts. I need electric parts, friends. Not some more ammo. No. None of that. Alright, let's go to bed and then we can continue on for the next day. Yes, I am sure I would like to sleep. I'm going to my bed, right? You need to rang rag rang roll your clothes? What? What? What does it mean? I keep saying the other guys. Okay. Right. We need to turn on the projector before we leave to, to stare at our, our wife, Tanya. This is the person we're trying to find. Still don't know where she is. We know she was kidnapped, had a child, and was still in prison after her child escaped, which means it's pretty bleak. The chances of her escaping, really. Who has a mission to death? We need to oh. talk, Igor. Oliver. I'm all ears. Got some intel that needs acting on. NAR is preparing a huge shipment of munitions, maybe food as well. We can't let this opportunity go. Well, you're not wasting any time on that radio, huh? Sure, I'll look into it. Not wasting any time on the radio? Big shipment. Let's have a look on the map here. So, 
Weapon transport. The NAR equipment is very well secured. Their boxes are locked with cipher codes and equipment require biometric confirmation. However, some of the staff prepared for the transport may be more accessible. Maybe an opportunity I shouldn't miss. You get to go back to Kapachi, which is good. Lag city. That'll be fun. Um, Oliver, where am I going to send you? Oh, I want to go on this one. Uh, okay, so, by the way, when you hover over this, it gives you the percentage chance of each person being successful. So, I mean, we're just going to hit the highest percentage chance each time we click on someone here. So everyone can do something. Oh, only 66% chance. Alright, we'll send Mikel on this one. I think everyone's doing something. Yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and start this mission then, Battle Brothers. Yes. Olivier wants to play soldiers, Igor. For him, everything is war. And the spoils of war. What about you, my darling? What is your mission? The NAR doesn't care about anything or anyone. Deaths are just numbers on a page for that greedy corporate beast. And the beast won't allow you to pull out its teeth so easily. Well, Olivier, we'll see what happens. Right, so here we are on the map. We've got to go over here to the weapon transport. I don't know if this is going to be another trap. I feel like Oliver keeps on leading us into traps, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the webcam, guys. I It's, it's like not even appearing in Streamlabs anymore, which is a little bit triggering, to say the least. Oh well, we'll see what we can do. Companions, right. Currently, Tarakan does not like us. We've got some other stuff to do over here, but I think we'll just go straight ahead. And can I actually build some more? I do have enough electronics to build one of these. I think we'll be okay. Right, so we're going straight down this road, essentially. Hopefully we can find some electronics in the jungles. Hello, let me in. Oh, Jesus. I'm falling. Oh, that's the arc egg. It's giving me loads of red radiation because it's the edge of the map. give me this loot then and I'll take the normal generic linear path I don't know how busy this oh, I hate that when you literally can't see if it's on the other side of the tree or not a bit triggering whoa lots of rate suddenly out of nowhere there's like 50 rads dude where are these rads coming from huge pocket of radiation almost kills me Let's use one of these. I can hear some weird sounds. This is where the weapons drop is. There must be enemies around here. It's right here. There's no enemies that I can see. That to me says this is definitely a trap, right? This place is so abandoned. Alright, well, let's go down under. I think it's going to be underneath us. This is 100% a trap, though. Guarantee you. Don't like this already. Getting chills. 
Last time we were here, we heard voices. Which I didn't very much enjoy, to be honest with you. We read that clue previously. Okay, so I hear some weird noises. I don't like that. Let's just have a quick scan. There's no one here. This it should it should have been guarded. Sixteen meters above us. How, is it upstairs then? Did I actually miss it? Must be upstairs. Must have gone past it. Where's the way out? A bucket of paint in here. And this is the way out. Good. Yeah, it's literally just up here. Oh, and so. Olivier, I'm up on the roof. There's a signal flare in the distance. I assume it's red? Yes. Must be the drop zone. That's your target. Time to roll. Good luck. Yes, sir. Okay. Olivier, sir. <laughs> Anton was a good guy. So let's do our best. For him. Try to keep a low profile out there. Don't let NAR spot you, and don't take more than you can easily carry. That is all the way over here. Hmm. Okay, we'll just head straight over. Can't see any enemies down there. Ah! Oh! Jesus Christ! What the hell was that? Really? Hey, I've fallen off higher than that. That's never happened to me. What the hell? It's so dumb. All right, let me take a med kit. Might as well. Enough health. I lost some psyche as well because of that. Right, we're going up this pathway. The main path. What version of this game do you have? So this is the full release version um, for the purpose of review. So it's not released to everyone else until the 28th, but this version has the full game in it, including the last mission, which I'm not allowed to show you guys till after the 28th, but it is there nonetheless. I want to try out the railgun. But first, I think we're going to have to stealthily approach this place. I have nothing to lose. Oh, mate, there's so many... Jesus. These rads really just come out of nowhere. Okay. So we are literally right in front of this location now. I can already see there's a truck parked there. Probably means these soldiers are hanging out. Yeah, there's one there. Let's have a quick scan since we can detect them all now. Okay, there's like four guys here. Yeah, this is super hot. Okay, let's save here. I reckon we can take this guy out, maybe. Or I can just sit in this bush, wait for him to come past, then we can take him out without anyone else seeing. I think that's going to be the game plan. Hopefully this is enough camouflage. Yeah, this is definitely a bait trap, isn't it? Massive smoke signal, middle of the zone, they're all here. Sneak attack! Surprise! It's me, ESO. Oh! Hello there. 
Battle Brother, where are you off to? That guy's kitted, so we're not going to be able to sneak attack him. I think the next best guy is this guy on the right. Could be wrong. Jesus Christ. What do you guys think here? A lot of guys. Dude, that does nothing. Jesus Christ. There's a whole clip into that guy, point blank. Down in the shotgun, man. Headshots for the win, though. There's another guy there. I think. What's up? Wait, what? Okay, that's, that's a body. Tango's behind cover. Careful. Careful, he's using cover. Where's this other guy, though? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Literally gone soon through that bush. Do you know what we need to try? Oh, we need to try out the... This is the last guy. One sec, let me scan. There he is. Did I just kill him? My psyche dropped. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Uh, let's have some psyche soup then. To relieve ourselves of what we've just witnessed. Killing a bunch of people. We're good to loot this place though. This is the munitions. Drop just here. I'm not going to touch it yet, though. I reckon this is a trap. I reckon there's going to be backup. Starting to not trust Oliver, to be honest with you. Where's the other gun? Did I loot that guy already? Must have. All right gonna have some more healing nice shot thank you dude actually uh let's oh my god how many shots this was like one hit killed him in the head pretty good man olivier i can see the crates it looks promising well done i know you worked hard for this but don't get greedy remember low profile don't listen to that soldier boy Fuck low profile. Remember <laughs> the pointers I gave you, Igor. Be a pro. Igor, any ammo you leave behind, they're gonna use to shoot you in the ass. Blow that shit sky high. Agree with Oliver, don't blow it up. Oppose Oliver and blow it up. Yes. You can save. Save before. All right, let's blow it up first. I'll take my chances. We don't get many opportunities to really stick it to them like this. Whoa, I'm going to blow it up point blank. Wait, I didn't even touch the keypad. So I just stay here. Does it tell me to go somewhere? Yeah, it wants me to go over here. Let's go over here then. Wait, I can't see it. I want to see the explosion. Ah. <laughs> Guerrilla War. Weapon transport. Quest completed. You can see it burning over there, I think. We reached a new level. 
Oliver will not like that. Dude, that was a hell of an explosion. Jesus Christ. Blew up everything. Let's maybe look at companions. I mean, both of these guys were, like, good anyway. Loot this guy? We actually get different loot from them, though, which is quite interesting. Each time you reload, it, like, resets the loot or something. All right. Let's Olivier, skip through the dialogue. I can see the Choose the other one. Done. Don't listen to that soldier boy. Farklo. Remember the pointers I gave you, Igor. Igor. Agree with Oliver, don't blow it up. Olivier's right. Causing an uproar when it's not completely necessary won't help our mission. True story. I just take what I can then. Is that all I can carry? Yeah, I got a bigger bag than that. Come on. I got like 80 inventory slots. I just take one. That'd be great. Great. The state of with Oliver got better, but Mikkel will probably not like it. I mean, we're in good standing with the both, so I don't really see it being much of a problem. All right, let's go ahead um, and head back. Wait, you've reached a new level? Olivier will like this. Okay. What? Um, oh, wait, where did I get tactical arm from? I can't put this... Can I equip this? Show stats. That gives me one armor, free camouflage. This gives me lots of protection, very little camouflage. I think I'll give this to my follower. For my stealth playthrough, this is a lot better right now. Wait, did I not have that equipped? I don't even know. I think I actually got that from looting it, which is pretty cool. Okay, now we can travel back. Yeet! Both choices were underwhelming, yeah. Usually the choices are very, like, a big difference and very impactful, but in this case... Uh, it was kind of like, one person disliked it, one person didn't. That was essentially the difference. Not probably, like, one of the most least impactful choices that we came across. Great success. Let's see if I can sort out the camera again. No, why wouldn't it work? It's so weird. Let's just carry on. It's not working, friends. You will just have to listen to me. Alright, everyone gets normal food. Except... We are slowly dwindling on our food supplies, though. Which isn't ideal. So if I look at companions now, um, I've still got a great relationship with Oliver. Mikael is good still, so that's right. I need to talk to you, Igor. Okay. Sure thing, I'll go. I'm all ears. My people and I, we've been fighting the lurkers for a while now. They're terrifying, but if you make enough holes, they'll eventually drop. I've killed a couple of them, but never really asked myself what they are. You're a scientist, Igor. Do you know? Nothing certain. But you must at least have some theories, right? What do they want? Why are they attacking everyone? Hmm. I don't believe they want anything. I think they're very basic life forms without any will of their own. Although, they do seem to be guided by something. Something like what? Chernobylite, perhaps. These creatures obviously interact with the material. Um, so Chernobylite is not just a crystal? Are you saying it has a will of its own? It's just a theory. The truth might be more complicated. Again, Everything's theory. always got to be complicated with you scientists, huh? Useless. Until you find out more, I'll have to settle for shooting those things in the face or in the... somewhere else. Would have been useful if you knew something about them, considering you live next to 
one of the worst areas with them. Hi, Olga. I Let's ask her for... Uh, actually, no, I don't actually want anything, training-wise. I'd like to... Sure. Can I give her some better equipment? I think I'll keep her with that, actually, because that gives her more combat. On the other hand, where is our good friend? Namaste, fucking day, Igor! And good day to you, Mikhail. I saw you fooling around with some cards earlier. Are you a gambling man? These are tarot cards. Ooh, tarot cards. Huh? Are you moonlighting as a gypsy? Where's your crystal ball? Oh, let me think where I left it. Oh, now I remember. It's up your asshole. You don't like that anything that doesn't fit with your mind-numbing scientific world, do you, right? I <laughs> don't like superstitious nonsense without any basis in reason or fact. You can Savage. bet your skinny little ass there are things around here that can't be easily explained. You should keep an open mind instead of just burying your face in books. The tarot can be a powerful fucking tool if you let it. Okay, I'll bite. What does the tarot say? I actually already pulled a card for you today. The lovers! How my ass. Nice. This card can have multiple meanings. There's the obvious one. Me and Tatyana? Very good. But it also means having to make a choice. One that will have consequences you cannot foresee. Got I'd have to pull a second card to get into it. Should I do that, Igor? <laughs> I think I'll stick with my mind-numbing ah. scientific worldview. Thanks anyway. Dude, it would have been interesting. Mikkel. Does he have anything else to train as? Four mm. skill points, perfect survival. Actually, want to try? Just make it. Let's have a look at his equipment. I think I could give him this. It gives him maximum resistance, which is decent. Hmm. He's already got, like, decent stats with that. I really wouldn't change it. Let's just put it in the closet for now. Into the closet you go. Split. Accept. Yes. Got some revolver ammo. Um, we have so much still. I really don't need all of this ammo. Liquid filled bullets. We have 15 shots on that. Rail gun. Seems to be pretty useful, to be honest. Um, I did want to build the rail gun upgrade station quickly, though. Which is over here. Where should we build? Oh, one sec. We already built it. I actually forgot. I already had it. Oh, no. That's not that. Okay. That's the wrong thing. Let's go back. Is that rail? Yeah, rail gun. Great. <laughs> kind of looks similar. All right, so upgrades. What are we going to upgrade it with? Magazine size increase. Whoa, that's a lot of magazine size. A chemical swelling mass and accumulation in its own bullet fuel. The system is capable of holding up to 10 self-renewing bullets. That's quite cool. Only does one less damage. Okay, we won't build anything yet. There yet. Rico really doesn't matter. Damage. What's, why has that got so much less damage? Burst firing. Nah. Damage increase. I think we might get... Let's go for that. What nozzle? Oh, we can increase the damage further. Plus two. Plus two reduction to range. Recoil is just terrible. Don't have the parts to build it though. What does this do? The device allows you to charge the projectile before you fire it. Deal more damage to human targets. More range. I think we want this. This is quite cool. I just don't have any electrical parts still to build it, so that's that. Oh, what girl. can I do for you, Professor? We actually don't need to speak right now, do we? Uh, is anyone hanging around here? I think one of our companions is over there. Go and chat to him. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. How's the shooting practice going, Igor? Quite well, actually, thanks to your pointers. You're a great marksman, Olivier. 
Did you learn all that when you were with the Canadian Special Forces? JTF-2? No, of course not. You have to be a hotshot already when you apply. I learned to shoot even before I joined the regular military. My father often took me hunting in the woods. Hotshot. So your father taught you how to shoot? Well, the old man taught me many things. How to be a total asshole, for example. I remember the time I told him I'd been passed up for promotion. The worst part was... He wasn't even angry. He said it was exactly what he'd expected to happen. We were out looking for a duck blind, and he marched right in front of the barrel of my shotgun. He was an experienced hunter. He knew not to do that. He paused right there in front of me, looked at the gun, then at me, and he smiled maliciously. That I old saw. bastard wanted to provoke me. And God help me. I almost pulled the trigger. But you didn't. You're your own man, Olivier. You can't let your father's opinions define you. It's not You're an opinion. probably right, but it's still hard. Even after all these years. Just a straight up nusser, your dad, isn't he? Alright, dude. How's it going? Yeah, close, Mercy. I can <laughs> hear them screeching under the floor. Screeching. Rats, you mean? You think those furry buggers can eat through a concrete wall? But something is amiss. The Rat King. I can't hear him anymore. Is he gone? He's never truly gone. But sometimes he goes away, and then it's like... What? It's like the cobwebs are all blown away. I can think clearly for... Yeah, I need my daily update on the Rat King, man. And I remember... things. What do you remember? A hospital. People in white gowns. A madman strapped to a gurney, screaming in terror. And myself... I'm strapped down too. Why are you doing this? I don't belong here. Let me out. Calm down. Everything's going to be fine. It's all in the past now. You can't keep me here against my wishes. Are we roleplaying? Tarakan, please. You're safe now. What? Where am I? Mikhail's warehouse. You're safe. Nobody is safe from the Rat King, little mouse. Not ever. Don't you ever forget that. Ah, uh, yes. Our old friend, the Rat King. I guess everything's back to normal then. He's such a hey good there. guy, isn't he? But I can. So, what else can you train me in? Uh, saving. What is saving? I don't have enough for it anyway. Actually, I can't. I think we're good for now. We're going to sort of save up some more skill points, really. Uh, actually, can I actually use this? Does this work? I still have radiation. Not a very good rad shower, is it? Huh? Not impressed with your rad shower. Right, so the next thing we need to do is drink some soup and make some more. Yeah, use. Where I'm going, we'll need this. Uh, let's get rid of our rads as well. Just passing by, glad you could join, man. The game is in Russian as well, like you can't play the whole thing in Russian, which genuinely would be a good experience in my opinion. Can I harvest these? No, I gotta wait till morning, I think. Alright, let's go to bed then. Yes. Sleepy time. Day 15. I mean, to be honest, kind of makes sense that his arm still hasn't healed. It's only been 15 days since we started this quest. Who oh. is this? The real question is, who are you? Are you someone capable? Someone I can work with? Sashko? Act politely. Crazy stalker or not, it's worth checking what he wants. Another crazy stalker. Ah, be polite. I recognize your voice. You're that guy from the Duga radar installation. Call me Sashko. We can help each other. 
Raised in the jungle, right? Yeah, the concrete jungle called Moscow. Anyway, it seems we're both looking for someone. We might as well join forces. Besides, I have no love for these NAR droids you're tangled up with. They're in my way. They're in my way. Ask about his agenda. How he can help. It's your agenda. How do you know I'm looking for someone? Please. It was practically written across your forehead last time I saw you. The music box, remember? That skits old man also told me a few things about you when I was doing the Duga radar job. Well, let's say I'm interested. Where do we go from here? Let's meet in two hours. Talk face to face. Find me on the roof of Cafe Bruviet in the port. Don't be late. Oh, not the port. The port is crawling. Hello, Mousy. Ready to continue our great work? Always. All right, guys, we're going to the port. This is the port. It's crawling with enemies and Chernobylite. Oh, dear. Do we want to go to the ports? Not really. But it's going to be a feast, my friends. A feast of damage. Who are we sending to the food drop? Let's send Mikkel. Apache, we'll send you. Actually, one sec. Yeah. Ripprat, Mikkel. Food drop over here. Who else is not going somewhere? Harakan. There we go. Another food stash. Except Oliver for this one. Right, there we go. Start mission. Are you sure? No. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. You entered the zone like a ghost, but now so many people know about you and your mission. I don't like this, Igor. This is dangerous. Danger, Sashko danger. is a real daredevil, all right. But like everyone else out here, he probably has his own agenda. Watch your step, Igor. What do you guys think about Sashko, eh? Do we trust this guy? Day 15, afternoon, eh? Our first area of inquiry is just around the corner here, actually. I think we can get around this way, yeah. Oh, what's this? Came out of nowhere. Oh, there's a few secret Chernobyl areas that we've not explored around here. I wonder how we get inside there. Firstly, there is a secret, so let's go and explore whatever this is. Thanks. I didn't even know the guy was alive. You came to finish the job, you bastard! What the hell happened here? Use your eyes, genius! Goddamn creature from hell got the drop on us. Help him. Here. This should get you back on your feet. Thank you. I get told by a bunch of soldiers that they won't forget it. However, they always do. Not looking forward to finding that creature anyway. Wait, what? Just finish him off. Right, I want to get out of here. Jesus Christ, that guy got wrecked. There's something down here. The question is, how do we get to it? Aha. Uh -huh. Is there like a cave? It looks like there could be an entrance somewhere. There must be a secret entrance down here. Somewhere in, in this area. Question is, how do you access it? Sometimes these areas are proper hidden away as well. Probably have to come back later and look because I don't want to spend too long here. Long we spend running around doing nothing. Oh, one sec. Actually, is it just there? Is this the entrance? I don't know.
we go this way? No, I don't know. Alright, never mind. Let's carry on with our objective, which is all the way down here. Where we're meeting this dude. And I already see some enemies up ahead. 40 in radiation. Jesus Christ. Dude, there's so many guys here. What the hell? Okay, we're not going to go this way then. We're going to go up here. Tons of rads. This is usually a really hot area for the NAR for some reason. Moscow does remind me a little bit of it, yeah. 30 rads, mate. Jesus Christ. Mate, what the hell? There's so many rads here. Right. We've got to go down that road, though. Getting so many rads. I think we're kind of alone in this area, which is good. We can do some looting. I still need a lot of electrical equipment, though. I need to go all the way straight this way. 1941 to 1945, eh? So this is the cafe right ahead of us. Just a... jump through the window. How do I get to the roof anyway? Where is this guy? Okay, there's... I can see like a way up here. Apparently we're meeting here somewhere. I literally can't see this guy anywhere. Some soldiers over there, though. Oh, there's a note. Okay. You have ten minutes to get to the third floor of the Pripyat Hospital. I'm watching you, so no, no. cheating. No, I don't believe this. The hospital's over here, I think. Great. Okay. Yeah, it is this building just here. Last time I went in here, I literally pooed myself, so... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It almost kills me every time. It's not even like a big fool. Uh, use anti-rats. I swear I made some more of those. For some reason, they're not in my inventory, though. Let's use a med kit. Oh, wait. Did I give away my last med kit? No, I got one more. We're going to have to run over, take the rads. No worries. That's fine. Enemy over there. He's kitted as well, man. So this is... Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That was close. Didn't even see that guy. coming right towards me, but I can't take him out because he's got the helmet gear on. Even if I headshot him, he takes like several oh, shots to the head. What was his name? Kim in your... I wonder if that's 10 in-game minutes. Come on. Go, go, go. Don't let the guy spot you. We're good. We're winning, son. I've been up all night. Brother, you're a true hero. Can I get inside this way? It's like a big blockage, isn't it? How do I get in then? Just have to drop that. Oh, is this going to kill me if I do this? Don't spot me. 
please. Okay, this, like this, I got jump scared here last time. I don't like this place. So here we go. Was it even this place? I don't know. I still don't like it though. All right, we got to get to the roof quickly. Let's just run upstairs. Hope that no one else is here. We're we good. Should be a way outside somewhere. Ah, yes, the lift shaft. Here we go. A lot of Chernobyl around, so I'm kind of wary. Right, we made it to the roof, though. Almost. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we're all good. Impressive. Now for the real test. What do you mean? Test? You think I trust you now? Why? Because you showed up? You need to show me I'm making the right decision. I want to see with my own eyes that when the time comes, you will not hesitate. You want me to perform some parkour stunt for you? That's your idea of a test? Whatever. Call it what you want. I call it a bit of insurance. Now go. Parkour stunt, eh? Let's do it. Oh, is it Assassin's Creed Easter egg? Can I yell it? We. Oh. Oh! <laughs> 10 out of 10 parkour, though. Oh, he's gonna belly flop me. What the hell? Kinky. Lol. See? Never doubted you, Chief. Well done. What was that all about? They should have put the trust, eagle noise in. Eagle. It was about trust. <laughs> Ask him to join me. <laughs> Tell him to leave. <laughs> this guy's out of control. I have no use for him. I could really use a madman on my team. Yes, please join I me. I hope this wasn't all for nothing. Will you join me now? Come into my bedchambers. Pre-recorded? No, no. Uh, this is live. You just can't see my face because uh, it's so hot in my room right now. And I can't get my camera to turn on. Which is a bit oof. Okay, so there's another mystery over there in the distance. Also reach a new level, which is always good. Oh, I can grab this too. Nice. Anyone here? No. Oh, fuck! Jesus! The place belongs to ghosts! Right. What are you doing here, stranger? God damn it. Be gone, intruder! You don't belong here! Let her rest! My God. I almost wet myself. Dude, they got me from like eight different angles, mate. Holy crap. Pity I didn't have the face cam. Or Chernobylite. And <laughs> just some bread chilling out there. Some guy was fixing his car, I guess. Alright, so. I think we can get out of here now, to be honest. There's not much... Why would I even walk into that trap? My god. That was terrifying. He is back. Doing some serious skewman. It's true. It's true. Um, one sec, guys. I'm trying to see if I can get some kind of... to work. It doesn't turn on for some reason. It's kind of annoying. Ads. Uh, let's see. Media source. Okay. 
cramped out there. Is that working? No, I, I don't know. I can't. I literally can't get it to work. Alright, let's equip our stuff and go back then. Equip. Oh, now I've got a full team, guys. So we can see what Sasuke will build us. Trainers in. Yeah, it died. I don't know why. That's what you get for buying a 500 pound camera, I guess. On a day in England, it's so hot. That was crazy what you asked me to do. You know that. Crazier than sneaking into the irradiated zone and playing tag with an army of mercenaries? Point taken. Like I said, we can help each other. But understand this, it's just a temporary partnership. You and I are not friends. <laughs> sure thing, partner. Looking forward to working with you. <laughs> Ask about the music box. Yeah. Listen, who gave you the music box? Crazy old man, like a vagrant. Normally I don't work with people like that, but it's not like the zone provides a lot of choice in clients. I did what I was asked of me, got paid and left. That's the end of it. We already knew that anyway. Ask about his motives. You mentioned that you're looking for someone. Who? Normally hmm. I'd say, none of your damn business. But in the spirit of trust, I'll tell you. It's my brother. I need to find him and ask him some questions. Conversation. Okay. Talk to you soon. Mate, we got the whole squad together. We got the team. Mission success. Everyone else successful, I guess. Look at all that food. That's enough to build, feed some of our team. Oh, we can feed the whole team today. Great. Even got some for tomorrow. Did you get any food, bro? Yes, you got... Oh my god, yes. Enough for two days. It's going to be so expensive to upkeep this food supply. Let's give any, everyone a normal ration. There we go. Oh my god, what is happening outside? We're only on day 16. The zone is absolutely ruined. I've never seen so much radiation. That means more jump scares, I'm sure. Parkour! Alright, let's see what our bro Sasuke can train us in. Do you have a moment, Igor? Sure. What do you need? I was wondering about that deranged old hobo I did the Duga radar gig for. Tarakan? Yeah, some of the things he said in passing makes me think there's more to him. More than a demented techno shaman with a knack for spy stuff and an unhealthy obsession with rats? Funny. But yes, I, I think he uses that stuff as a shell, into personal armor. There's something underneath all of that. When I was in Bujokia prison, I met some guys doing time for political stuff. They told me how in the olden days, high-level, disloyal types were committed to a nut house. I mean, what's up with that, right? It had more to do with protecting right? the whole system than punishing one person. The people in charge wanted to send a message that it was insane not to believe the Soviet Union was the best country, or countries in the world. Yeah, insane. Did you know any rebels like that? I... I don't think so. Why? There was this rumor about someone, someone important, who was about to blow the whistle on the Duga project. He got chucked into the loony bin before he could speak up. Really? Who do you think it was? Beats me. The official reason was a mental breakdown after the Chernobyl disaster. Convenient timing, if you ask me. Convenient. You probably won't ever know who it was. The bottomies and drugs will turn your brain to mush. All right, let's see what he can give us for... Tr oh, there's not enough beds, so we need to build a bed. Don't let me forget, guys. Hey, Sasko, you're experienced, right? Is there anything you can teach me uh, about... Uh... About what? Living on the streets? Hey, <laughs> I'm not offended. I can show you a thing or two, but you need to practice if you're serious about improving. Definitely, um... Oliver is the coolest character so far, yeah. Parkour, run much faster and land more safely from any height. I'll probably need that, to be honest. Patience, shotguns inflict 25% more damage. Reflex, what is reflex? I'm going to go for parkour, it's only one skill point. Train. Fantastic. I'm ready to learn. Teach me how to parkour, battle brother.
Hey, partner. Welcome to the maze. This is a new trick and you're an old dog, but what the hell? It may even save your ass. You're welcome. Please don't make me regret setting this up for you. It was a major hassle. Anyway, I get to test this train ground on you. Your job is to enter the maze and find the exit as fast as you can. But keep in mind, it will require some stretching. Just follow my lead and try to keep up. Ready? Let's go. All right, man. Hey, you getting a head start? Where do you go? Just stand there. Just drop your hips and bend those knees. You cheating, mate? You cheating? Lie flat on your stomach. Dude, this is so Be easy. Be careful how you land. Lead with one foot and follow with the other. Are you dumb? I'm mightily impressed, Igor. You made a great addition to our gang back in Moscow when I was running for a year at the brig. Anyway, Moscow. it's good to exercise at your age. It has a rejuvenating effect. You already seem ten years younger. Parkour, parkour. Nice move, old timer. You still got it. Someone uh, edit that into a rapid montage for me. Appreciate it, thanks. Um, okay, so now we need to go ahead and build some more beds, brothers, because the battle brothers need bedrooms. Where are the beds? Here they are. We build another stretcher bed with an IV. IV bed. Don't have room. My current building. How good is it? You know what, we'll just build a bunk bed. Then we've got two. Almost not enough room to put it anywhere though, eh? I think I've just got to put it here, right? Just here. And we're done with the sleeping quarters. Great. I don't know if I have enough electrical components now to build some upgrades for my rad rifle, as it were. I do need these med kits, though. They're coming with me. I need this as well. Uh, what's this? Probably should equip some combat armor soon. Depending what we're going to be going on for the next mission. Right. Got an extra med kit this time, just in case. Do I have enough lockpicks? Yes. Right, let's quickly upgrade our rifle then. I wanted to try this out. That's going to take all my stuff. But it's essentially recharging ammo. So now... Oh, dude, that looks sick. That looks sick. So infinite ammo. How long is it taking to recharge? It's not recharging yet. Okay, it takes a little while, but it's nice little like pull that out rapid fire. Very nice. Big fan. Now I don't have enough electrics to build this. No matter. We also don't need this liquid ammo anymore. We can put that away. Um, we don't need any ceramic plates right now. Don't need these extra shotgun slugs or ammo. No, I'll take that with me anyway, just in case. I got the room. We just pick up so much ammo, that's the thing. Uh, split. Right, I'm just gonna throw all this food in here and we are good to be on our way. Uh, actually, we'll just have a quick chat hey, with Oliver. Hey, Igor. Can we talk? Always. Sure. What's up? I've seen some weird shit in my time. But I just can't get used to being inside... How to put it? Inside the space-time tunnel, connecting singularities. 
You're doing it again. Doing what? <laughs> Using fancy science jargon that means nothing to me. I'm not a scientist. I hate Sorry, when people do force that. Force of habit. The physics of this phenomena is very complex, even for me. Trust me on that. Or maybe you're just keeping things from us. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why would I do that? Because knowledge is power. Or maybe because this thing, this Chernobylite, might open a gate to hell. And you don't want anyone to know. Still ridiculous. Is it? You're like a sorcerer <laughs> holding a key to the mystery of the world. Is it I go? Maybe Am I crazy? A prophet, the time traveling mystic of the zone. <laughs> I believe in science, not magic. To the common man, they might as well be the same thing, my friend. Ooh, he's saying I'm a magician, brother. <laughs> magician I am indeed. Howdy, Professor. Howdy, partner. Hi, What's going on with you? Uh, I just remembered something. I thought you might find it interesting. I was guiding a group of biology researchers from America a couple years ago. I showed them around the Red Forest and everything. They were taking measurements, and one guy told me that the trees had barely changed since the incident. I hadn't really thought about it till now. But it really does feel like this whole place is a snapshot of the past, like a butterfly caught in amber. That's probably due to the radiation. It almost wiped out the microorganisms living on the forest floor. There's almost no decay, so the trees don't rot like they normally would. I mean, they are decaying, but extremely slowly. <sighs> so it's almost like time stopped in the Red Forest after the explosion. I find that weirdly romantic. Not my kind of poetry, but I can appreciate the sentiment, Olga. Alright guys, just quickly went to the toilet. Hi, Olga. I was wondering if you could share... I'd be glad. Uh, Actually, I one skill point anyway, so I can't that's do it right fine. Alright, let's go to bed. Sleepy time. Yes. Anakin versus Obi Wan. Indeed. Day 16. In the world of Chernobylite. Is it's easy level? No, I'm playing it on normal. Hurricane. Got a sec, partner. Shoot. Partner, eh? I know how to make small shape charges. Perfect for demolition locks. Right. I can see that coming in handy. But first, I need you to pick up the plastic left over from the Dugar Raider operation. Agree. Express dance. Agree. Sounds like it's worth it. We need it. I'm a practical man. I wouldn't go suggesting shit like this. It was just a waste of time. I built my first pipe bomb when I was eight. I can make a charge from just about anything. How did such a promising young man ever end up here? <laughs> I've left some plastique in my old hidey hole. Bring it here and I'll get it to work. Ready to go? Sure. Come with me. I marked the cool. building on your map. It's in the Duga radar facility. Alright, we're going out to the radar then. That's pretty fun. Oh dude, it's gonna be trippy though. Oh no, this shouldn't this is actually the least affected area. Though the Chernobylites probably gonna be rather bad. I guess we'll find out when we get there. So, ammo drop. Oliver, you can do that. Ye who's doing this? Mikel. Food drop. Oh, okay. I'll send Mikel on that, actually. Uh, we'll send Tarakan on that. Medicine drop. Uh, we have... Is everyone doing something? Oh, supply drop. Right. There we go. Start mission. Yes. Wow, I don't really have it. One sec. Who's not assigned? You could just stay in the base. Do nothing. 100% chance of success. Okay, great. Well done, dude. You've earned one. Earned one for the team. <laughs> Charges? <laughs> I always knew that you had something explosive hidden inside of you, Professor Kimunu. Just be very careful, love. 
Once you help someone, you can easily become responsible for them. Ooh, face cam, sorry. It is not working for some reason. Apologies. Because, um, honestly, like, uh, we missed a jump scare earlier. That um, would have been great for you guys to witness. I just want to check, companions. So, currently, Tarakan, relationship bad. Sashko, relationship neutral. Okay. Good to know. And also, Olga is bad, too. We kind of want to keep an eye on those people because we don't want to piss them off. So, there's a Mysterious going on over here, but we've got to get all the way across the zone over there. This is usually a hot area, though. So, I reckon we head down here. Okay, Sashko. I'm in position. You should find the place, no problem. It's in a one-way story building on the perimeter of the Muscovi. I think I know where it is. Can I see anything here? I'm tempted to actually quickly, before we go on, I'm going to build myself another radar. Oh, I can't. I have the materials for this. We need some, desperately need some more electronics, really. Oh, electronics are behind me. Some right over here, apparently. Just on the ground, in the middle of nowhere. Fancy that. Who'd have thunk? Also, something over here. Shall I loot on the way? I see some enemies down here on the road. Thirty rads. Christ. That's a lot of radiation, dude. kidding me? That pipe was blocking me? Big radiation pocket. Yeah, we're getting closer to... Oh, okay, there's a lot of soldiers over there. Gonna have to be careful crossing. Ah, it's the Vagabond, I think. Hello, dude. Welcome, welcome. Fancy some trading? Uh, I have to ask. We're in the middle of nowhere. What are you even doing out here? Out here, everything is in the middle of nowhere, my friend. Sometimes, you need to get off the beaten path to find a solid business opportunity. I learned that from Warren Buffett. You've met Warren Buffett? Uh... <laughs> No. Stocks and shares. I've watched his motivational videos on YouTube, though. We've already heard that same chat, so I'm going to skip it. Um, food for gear. Gear. Food for gear, yeah. Have you got any electric? All right. Show um, no. I, I want to do it the other way around. Exchange food for gear. Do you buy? Sure. Get two food rations for one. Oh, oh, okay, I'm so you don't have anything good. Good luck, Bill. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, you got you pre don't prefer the face cam, really? Why is that? What do you not like about it? We've got to sneak past these NAR soldiers now, so this is going to be a tricky one. They're coming back this way. It's one. What a stupid job! I was stupid enough to take it. Good, good, good. Snuck past. Jesus, why do I get suddenly... Whoa, what the hell are these rads coming from? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Mate, it's mad. I suddenly get tons of rads out of nowhere. Ooh, there's a lot of enemies out here as well.
There's some electronics upstairs, though, so let's go and grab those. It's in the other room. More able to see the environment. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the kind of game for that anyway, right? Like, enjoying the environment. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the sound fucking gets me. I don't even know what there is. I heard, like, a door sound effect from behind me. Jesus Christ. Get me out of here. Right, there's a lot of guys here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. As long as that other guy doesn't turn around right now. Oh god, he spotted me. Hopefully the other guys won't hit the gunshots. Did they trigger? I think so. Oh no, one's coming, one's coming. Need to get out of here. Oh, of course there's tons of radiation here. Okay, I think we're good. We escaped. We actually need to go back round to that building specifically, but uh, oh well. Actually, we'll, we'll get some anti-rads here. Hey, what the hell? Like, honestly, the radiation in this game just seems so random. I guess it's like that in real life, though, right? You just, like, walk into a pocket of radiation. But it just seems to build up from, like, 0 to 45 suddenly. And then before you know it, that's half your health bar gone. Okay. There's another guy checking out that body. We gotta go upstairs in here. Have kind of caused a bit of a distraction that he's going over there though. This is where we need to be, right? Or is it downstairs? Oh, it's here. You can't do that while in danger. Are you kidding me? What, like, all those people down there are looking for me out there? Oh, up the top right corner, it's just searching for another 50 seconds. Ah, oh, well, that makes sense. Should I just try and shoot them out the window? Yeah, the range on this isn't going to hit that guy. He's dead. I'll probably find the other body and start searching again. Oh shit, did he see me? I think he saw me. Well, searching is ending in five seconds, so... That'll do. Alright, we're good. As long as he doesn't find the other body, I think we can quickly do this. More explosives. Sashko, I found the plastic box, but it's empty. There are some droppings and... Uh, is it possible rats took your charges? Well, shit, those sneaky bastards must have been really hungry. Now what? Well, no charges means more work for me and also more work for you. I can make the compound from scratch, but that means I'll need the ingredients from somewhere else. But first, we need to take care of the rat problem. What do you mean? You got the detonator? Press the button. Why would I do that? To blow these bastards to rat kingdom come. I don't want them running around with my charges. Slow down. You have no idea where those explosive rats of yours are. 
They could be under the floor or in the walls. Literally. I don't harbor any secret love for rats. Believe me. But this is just stupid. Say you won't do it. Press the detonator. Wait, 144p? Really? I'm at 1080p. Just refresh. Refresh. I don't think we're going to do this one. Uh, the thing is, is that Olga doesn't like us currently. We have a bad relationship. Sasko, we have a neutral relationship. But I think if we piss off Olga again, then she might leave the group. So I think if we want to keep the whole group together, we shouldn't do this. Blow it up. <laughs> I mean, last time we blew it up, nothing really happened anyway. Well, there was an explosion, but we didn't get to see it anyway. I don't think we should, guys. I'm actually going to veto on this one. Do it, do it, do it. Voice only in right ear. Some people, like, can you guys hear me in your right and left ear if you're hearing, if you're using headphones? I'm not going to do it. I'm done with your whole living it. dangerously routine. I'm not going to do it. Too bad. Do you have any sense at all? Whatever. Do what you want. Where do you even come up with this shit? It's not a real detonator. It's just a prop. I was just messing with you, Professor. Trust me, I wouldn't risk a life for my brave companion like that. But you still need to go to find my other stash and bring me the components I need. It's right next to the connector. Great. We've got a bad relationship with him now. I think it would have been a bit dumb to do it though, no? I wonder what happens if you if you do do it. Does he just carry on liking you? And go back and see what effect that has. Game over. <laughs> Charges? Everyone in the chat is telling me to do <laughs> it as well yeah, this time. Sashko, now what do you got? <laughs> Press the detonator. All right, time to meet the great rat catcher in the sky, my furry little friends. Too bad Tarakan isn't here to see this. Oh wait, Tarakan won't like that though, because he wanted to kill the rat catcher himself. Even though we know it's fake. Olga will I not think... like this. Shit. You actually pressed the button. <laughs> I'm impressed. Ah, uh, so Olga doesn't like it. Nothing Let's happened. check once up. Of course nothing happened, goofus. It's a dummy. But well, right? Igor Kimenik, Professor. Lover, pyromaniac. This was another of your idiot stunts? You know, I... I know I should be surprised, but... Actually, I'm not. It's not a real detonator. It's just a prop. I was just messing with you, Professor. Trust me, I wouldn't risk a life for my brave companion like that. But you still need to go to find my other stash and bring me the components I need. It's right next to the connector. See, Olga's, Olga's relationship with us now is, pr is pretty bad. So you got two negatives. Whereas he's like, just good. Okay, I'm going to reload that checkpoint then. Just because I think otherwise she will be pissed. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... <laughs> Charges? Olga gets like annoyed at you for the you most something stupid explosive. stuff. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like the first thing was like, oh, that little kid made it back to the village. And she was like, actually, it was a good decision, Igor. You know, well done for doing that. And then she's like, but I dislike you anyway. I dislike that you didn't. And she's like, oh, you should have listened to me. But I'm like, yeah, but you would have just left him in the prison alone to die. And then the decision right there where it's like, oh, he was just joking. Olga's like, oh, I didn't like that. It's like, all right, you bitch. Oh, damn it. All right. This time I'm, I'm just going to... Let Sashko's relationship be bad with us because, to be honest, otherwise Ogre might Ogre might leave the team. I'm done. So I'm gonna do it. Right there we go. Now we've got a bad relationship, but Olga will like it, so we should have a good relationship with her now. That's good. Uh, companions. So Olga is now neutral. He's bad. That's fine. We can we can figure that out. But having too bad, I feel like it's really bad. Right, so now we need to go over to the hardware stuff. How is my psyche? Yeah, it's alright. It's good.
These enemies respawning again a lot. It looks like there's some gas over there, so I'm gonna have to get my dude. There's loads of guys here. Wheat. Try to search the area. Keep an eye out for the explosives. Sashko, I found the building, but it's crawling with NAR soldiers. Looks like they know about the stash. Any ideas? Fuckers, they must have spotted me earlier. A little heads up would be appreciated next time. Hey, you got this, man. You're better at this shit than you give yourself credit for. Thanks, but. You're breaking up. I'm losing signal. Igor, signal. Sasko? Sasko? Damn it. He's definitely playing with us. There's no way. I don't know if I can go in here without a gas mask. It looks like there's this is crawling. Like there's literally like loads of people in here. We're gonna have to work our way through though. Silencer out. Shite. That guy. I want to wait for this guy to go by. Otherwise, this guy will spot us if he's looking. Is this game coming to PS5 and is it worth it? It is coming to console though, I don't know what time. It's coming out um, for PC users publicly, um, the full game, which I'm already playing, on the 28th. Get it from the link below. It's only $30 right now, or £23. And for that price, oh my god, it's 100% worth it. I'm loving it right now. Really enjoying the gameplay. Uh, the AI could do with some improvement and uh, some other stuff. I... Okay, okay, we... Need to we need to equip this. This place is flooded with gas right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Chop, chop, chop. Oh, we can't stealth him. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this guy's tanky. Luckily, he flinches. Otherwise, we'd just be dead. I don't know if anyone else is going to react to that. I think it was completely silent kill. gonna go up here and get these electrical components because to be honest I really do need them some guys coming in here man like how how did he know it's two guys down there man Jesus Christ. Come upstairs then. How dare you. He's over there! Where did he go? Find him! Drop down! Uh. Bloody sea. Jesus Christ, it's not going well for us. Got combat. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually put on this combat armor. Kind of need the extra armor right now. It's a bit of a hairy situation. Do I actually have plates for this? I don't even have plates for it. There's I might as well use this thing. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can unequip this. Look, there's so many tanky guys. It's ridiculous. we got to get over here. That guy's literally standing right there. I'm going to have to kill him. There's no other option. Can't see if this guy's got like a full bodysuit. Yeah, he does. Okay, great. Uh, this is going to be a tricky one. I'm actually going to go sit in this room. Just going to try. Whoa, how the fuck did he react like that? Wait, why, why can I not fire? Okay, now I can. Do I need to have the gun out for it to recharge then? Oh no. This is not ideal for us. 
I legit cannot see anyone from there. Oh god, okay, that's not good. Jesus Christ. He can see me, I can't even bloody see the guy. Shoot me for a wolf. Lucky I've got this ability, otherwise we'd all be dead. Oh, mate. Right. Um, it's not done me my, my uh, psychological stat any good, is it? I would just have a first aid kit. I think it's pretty worth using. Build some traps. Yeah, but they make noises when you build them. And the AI always, like, stands where they are. So they never, like, walk into them. Why is... Oh, I'm psychologically not in a good state. So we'll just have some vodka. Because that makes us feel good. Now we're just like, oh, it's fine. Don't worry. Sashko, I found your components. Glad to hear it. For a moment there, I thought I might lose my favorite partner in crime. Was Same. that supposed to be humor, Sashko? Not bad for a first try. Living dangerously. Hardware for real men, eh? We need to get over here next. Some kind of mystery in there. No idea what it is, though. There's literally a guy on the other side of this door, though. Oh, it's my friend. All right, dude. Stop right there. You're on Prippy and Bradford turf now. Thanks for becoming a member, Charles. How's it going, by the way, dude? Good to see you again. Have you been keeping up with all the episodes? I know I've been streaming like a ridiculous amount these last few days. But I appreciate all your donations from the last stream, man. Still very thankful for that. The face cam's not working today. Uh, it's overheated. Sadly, it's like 32 degrees in this room, so not much I can do. All right. You mentioned something about Trey. What, what Let's about get a loot box from one. him. Uh, sure agree. It's just... I better be going now. Oh, I can't, I can't get it because my inventory is too full. What's up? Can we actually make enough room? Oh, you can. There we go. Now I can get it from him. You. You mentioned. Sorry, Igor. Wait, what? So, I better where, be going where now. is it then? So he. I just gave him the. Why did I lose. Why am I losing. Oh my god, the Black Stalker's here? That's not good. Use this. Okay, we got some ammo. The Black Stalker is currently in our vicinity. Quantum oh, Quantum shit! Generator. Fucking hell! Oh god, I'm getting out of here, mate. Is there anything else to do on the map? Not really. Okay, great, great. Get me out of here. Get me out. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Whew. Jesus. Mate. That came out of nowhere. I was like, why is my, my psyche going down? Sasko, you know the difference between dynamite and nitroglycerin? I need you to be more stable, like dynamite and less like nitroglycerin, which will just blow a person to hell for no reason. You want to make an omelette? You gotta crack a few skulls, am I right? If no. you know so much about eggs, how about helping out with the cooking? Nah, that's your department. I'll stick to what I'm good at, blowing shit up. Such an anarchist, I love it. Success. Everyone should be successful, I hope. Ooh, some materials, more ammo, which we definitely don't need any more of, but thank you. 
Only 0 0.5 food. You can't even feed yourself with that. That's not a success. How are we going to feed everyone with 0 0.5 food? Ah, I guess everyone gets normal. Accept, yes. Grudgingly accept. Scared the hell out of me, yeah, man. Jesus Christ. This guy's terrifying, right? Good day, mate. Hi, McKeel. I wanted to ask you something. How long have you been in the zone? Oh, years. Can't remember exactly. Some of those years are pretty wild if you catch my drift. But it feels like forever. Have you always been a stalker? Not always. Before I embraced this lifestyle, I did some other things. Bug shit, crazy, dangerous things. <laughs> You've got my attention. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, am I right? He I used to pick blueberries and sell them. It was really fucking hazardous stuff. <laughs> How is picking blueberries dangerous? You don't know your own shitty ass from your elbow, Professor Fancy Pants. But allow Uncle Mikhail to bring you up to speed. Blueberries are freaking irradiated as shit. Mushrooms, too. I was dealing with this guy who worked as a border guard, right? He used to search any 18-wheelers or lorries coming through. Anytime they flashed red on the radiation monitors. First time I met him, he was shitting bricks. He thought somebody was smuggling a dirty bomb into the European Union. But it wasn't a radiological device. It was fucking blueberries from Pripyat. Oh, my. This load Such exceeded the norm BS. four to six times over. I kid you not, sir. It's not going to kill you outright, but it certainly isn't healthy, even with all those antioxidants. Fascinating. Did they put a stop to it? <laughs> of course not. The exporters just started diluting the more glowing blueberries with the less glowing ones, so the cargo wouldn't trigger the alarm. And so, glow-in-the-dark blueberries traveled to Poland, and from there to the rest of the European Union. <laughs> what irony. In the end, everyone gets a taste of the Chernobyl disaster. Oh, Charles, dude, thank you so much, man. You, you don't need to do this. Thank you so much for the donation, man. Really appreciate that. Come a member and then just gift another 20. Dude, thank you. Train show equipment. Have we actually learned everything from him? I feel like we don't really need to level anything up with him anymore. I always love his conversations, though. He's just an absolute nutter, isn't he? Hi, Igor. I trust everything's going well? Yes. Yes, what about yourself? Um, as well as can be expected. You've been through a lot, haven't you? Yes. I've seen some really fucked up shit since I became a soldier of fortune. I fought Somali pirates, trained insurgents in Latin America. I even helped squash an uprising at a diamond mine in Africa. You never felt what you were doing was somehow wrong? I never really thought about it. War is all I've ever known. Besides, it's a matter of perspective. To NAR, you and me are the bad guys. Reactionaries, terrorists... You're overthinking this. Uh, don't worry. I remember where my loyalties lie, and who's paying me. Besides, I still have a score to settle with that black mask freak. True that. Do you think uh, you could... Let's see <laughs> uh, how I'll... much the uh, oh, precision. Maybe some other two You're the boss, points. Igor. Never mind. Let's quickly just check on the tab here. Um, I think we might actually start using the uh, plate armor, which I think what does it use? It uses ceramic plates. So I'm gonna have to build. Armor Smith. Ceramic plates. So this makes a specific plate armor for this armor. Oh, wow. That's a big heavy armor you can make. But it makes a lot of noise, so probably not the best for us. Maybe useful at some point, but right now, not really. Right, let's put this in the closet. Oh, I actually already had some anyway. So I don't need it right now, and we can put the metal plates in there too. 
Where's the ceramic plates gone? Didn't I just craft them? What? Where'd they go? Am I blind? Yeah, I didn't really rate the railgun, by the way, guys. I think I might genuinely just put it away now. I'd rather bring 20 more rifle ammo than use the railgun. Seems so monotonous to use. Especially because it doesn't charge up unless you have it equipped. Which I think is, like, a big blunder. It's unlimited ammo, but I already have too much ammo, so... Not really much I care for with that. Yes, Sir Charles of Cutter is spreading good cheer once again. It's good to see ESO when he gets jump scared. It's very scary for me, though. Okay, we need to craft some more um, rad stuff down here. So we don't get irradiated. Psyche paste. And some healing salve. So we got... Oh, I got actually too much of that, probably. Don't need that much. Uh, that's fine. Oh, we need anti-rad stuff. What, is it? what are you doing? Can I talk to you for a moment, Igor? Jesus. How are you doing, Olga? Everything all right? You keep mentioning this girl, Tatiana. Despite NAR, the Lurkers, Chernobylite, and everything else happening in the zone, you somehow managed to stay laser-focused on her. Tatiana is the reason I'm here. I admire your dedication, but at the same time, it worries me. What about me? Why? She's like, I'm alive. There's a lot at stake here. We think we have an idea what NAR is up to, but what if we've only scratched the surface? What if their plans go beyond the zone to encompass the whole world? <laughs> that sounds just a bit far-fetched. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. What if the only way to stop them is raising <laughs> everything right. to the ground and killing everyone? <sighs> That's not going to happen. I'll find a way. I hope you do, Igor. I really hope so. Why do you have to make the situation so uh, hi, Olga. I'd be glad. So let's have a look. She has perfect organization skills. Gain another six inventory. Or assault rifles deal 25% more damage. I mean, that's a great Fantastic. thing. Fantastic. I think that's actually worth I'm it. I'm ready to learn. Oh. No jokes while we're training or I'll smack you upside the head. It's such a such a tight go in it. So angry at us all the time. Danny needs a new camera. Okay, Igor, <laughs> let me introduce you to your it's new a good best camera. friend, the AK forty seven. Beloved weapon of revolutionaries and freedom fighters for decades. Some countries even put it on their flag because it played such a big role in claiming their independence. But enough history. I'll give you some pointers to help you understand the weapon's full potential. The biggest challenge is compensating for recoil and automatic firing mode. You must learn to control it. Don't worry, the cans won't shoot back. Do your worst. Or best. Ready? Commence firing. Commence firing. Dude, that was very good. Not bad, not bad at all. You sent many of them to can heaven. Dude. Okay, Professor. I think you've learned the basics. That was terrible. Those cans had lead in or what? Didn't move at all. Must have a catch up. Definitely catch up. Well done, Igor. But don't get cocky. You still need practice. Lots of practice. True, because that was horrible. Igor, I need to talk to you. No mousy today. So the Rat King is gone? It won't be long before it returns. We don't have much time. You need to help me. I need to find out what happened to me. I remember the explosion. Were you close to reactor number four? That was the night Tachana disappeared. What do you remember? Not much. Fire, sirens wailing, burned men. Agonized screaming. It was Kharkiv. 1972. What? I think you've got the time and geography mixed up. The KGB and some military geniuses tried to put out a fire in the natural gas mine with a nuclear device. Almost a kiloton yield. They blew everything up, the morons. The morons? A column of iron radioactive ash, kilometers high. 
people in villages nearby thought it was the end of the world. What were you doing there? I don't know. I'm <laughs> trying to remember, but I can't. All I know is I was there to observe. Calm down, Tarakan. We'll get to the bottom of it eventually. Try to get some rest now, all right? You nutter. You nutter, Tarakan. Let me take a look at your gear. Of course, man. They just call me master. Oh, I need to give him some armor. Let's go and get him some armor, eh? Get some camo. I think that's going to fit well with his creepy play style. What's the matter, Mousy? Let me take it. Of course, man. Of course, Mousy. There we go. Now he's maximum artifice. Very nice. If I give him this, he gets eight resistance, though, which is pretty sick. I think we'll just leave him at that, to be honest. Suits his law friendly playstyle. Alright, let's go to bed. I do like talking to the NPCs. What do you guys think? Should we should we skip that part in the future or should we just carry on talking to them? Hello, all thumbs up everyone. Thank you for the likes, by the way, on the video, guys. If you've not liked it yet, do drop a like. It really does help out. Massively appreciate it. Day 17, the refuge morning. Good morning, Battle Brothers. <laughs> We. Oui. Hey, oh. Mousy. Have you ever heard the story of the wolf in sheep's clothing? Uh, yes. What if it was a mousy in rat's clothing, or a hare in hunter's clothing? How do you like that? I'm not sure it's the same. Of course it is. Sometimes you need to change your skin to stay hidden amongst your enemies. Well, you're talking about a disguise. A disguise, sure. I have some useful items stashed in my hideout. The uniforms used by the Rat King's top minions, for example. Then you will look like them and smell like them. An NAR officer's uniform would definitely be useful. Look in the building adjacent to the Dugger Radar building, third floor. I laid some traps, so watch out for the mousy. These oh traps boy. kill rats and mousies alike. Memorize this rhyme. One, two, Three, four, five. A hunter went out for a walk. Suddenly, a hare appeared and shot him down. Bang, bang! Oh, oh, oh! The hunter is going to die. He's crawling back home, saying, Bury me deep and let me lie. It's the other way around. The hunter shot the hare. One, two, three. Every kid in the country knows that rhyme. It beats a password that anyone can copy. Also, here's the key, so you don't have to break in like a common thief. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we actually found his poem very early on. I think it was like the second or third episode I recorded. I found the poem hidden um, underneath the stone plate, which is kind of interesting. That we already know about it. A few things from the old hideout. I have to penetrate Tarkin's old hideout. The old man hid a uniform in the NAR officer. Could prove invaluable on the heist. Very well. Let us go. Ourself. And go get the medicine drop. We'll send you over there. Munitions drop. Food drop. Who's going on this one? I want to send the best person, to be honest. We'll send you then. Mikkel. Rest at base. Yeah, you know, Tarakan's an old man. Actually, what's up? Uh, 56. 50 50 chance is good enough for me. We'll send you on that mission. Yes. Yeah, YouTube is very greedy. All these years in the zone, and all that Tarakan has to show for it are some officers' uniforms? Be careful, Igor. Don't end up as rat bait. Charles, another twenty dollar donation, dude. You don't. Thank you so much. But my goodness, it's okay. My cam, my camera is very good. It, it's just a nightmare when it overheats. I, I just need to have like, I guess, a second 1080p webcam as a backup or something. But thank you so much for the donation, man. That is very, very, very friendly of you. But I need to do something in return. A few things from my old hideout. That's where you got to go. 
But just down here, apparently. Uh, oh, she's taking that job at my father in law's factory. Shit. Spawn right next to us, man. Okay, so we actually do need to build ourselves an anti portal thing just here. Black Stalker is delayed by three minutes. Definitely worth building that. And I'll build this just to, to delay the storms. Oh God, I'm getting tons of... Jesus Christ. There's a guy in here. I think it's actually our friend. Take the mask off now. Hello there, brother. What are you doing in here, I wonder? Who? Oh, it's you. So, this is how you get your goods, huh? Gordon Gecko, my ass. <laughs> hey, it's not like that. Don't bullshit oh, yeah. me. I heard the gunshot. I'm not a murderer. You have to believe me. This dude was already a goner. I just... I put him out of his misery. It was mercy. You could have tried to help him instead. I wonder how your other customers will react to this. Or maybe you just shoot them too. What? No, of course not. I just... Look, out here, you need to take opportunities whenever you see them. Otherwise, you'll never make it. How about you forget you saw me, and next time, I might have something extra for you. I've done my share of questionable things. I won't be casting stones. Demand your share. Yeah, whatever. I don't really need anything. We've got tons of stuff. Fine. I guess I can't really blame you. We're all trying to survive. We've got a deal then. I do try to read the chat. I can, dude. That doll's not there. That's very creepy. You take that too, my boy. Huh? What are you doing there anyway? Vagabond. Maybe it is a good deal. Maybe you can help us out one time. Who knows? There's someone in that room. I think this is Semyon. Something in there, but I'm not going to go and get it. Tons of radiation. Oh, yeah. Let, just give me 40 rads out of nowhere. Thanks. Okay, we've got to go over here next. I can't see anyone yet. I think we're good. What the fuck is that? I can hear something big. Above me, I think. Oh, I don't like this. What's that sound? There's something upstairs, mate. I can hear doors opening and closing. No, I don't like that. There's something up there. You can literally see me. Alright, we're going to fight it. Whatever it is. Dude, that did, like, four damage to my health bar and tons of radiation. Just all the way immediately. I can hear another one. Right, we got to get across here anyway. Should have brought some more shotgun ammo, right?
Whew. Not enjoying this. So it doesn't appear on the scanner. These creatures, whatever they are. There's a dead enemy just there. He must have got killed by that creature. What is that? So it does appear on the scanner. I can see it. Wait, where'd it go? And now it's downstairs. I'm getting out of here, mate. I think we already, yeah, we already read that. Can I get my shotgun out? Apparently there's a shotgun in here. It's on the other side, though. It's so bright, I can't even see down there. A few things in the old hideout. Apparently it's the floor below me where I need to go. Yeah, reading reviews from 2019 is like reading reviews from when this game was in alpha, though. Wait, why does it say kill on that door or something? Don't like this. That's the shotgun over there. I love his house though, it's so cool. Does that have any upgrades? No. What is that? Well, how do I disarm that? Oh, he, he gave me the key to get in there. So whatever I need, it must be here, right? Somewhere here. Oh, here it is. Officer Stripes. I'm sure these will look good on me. One more thing. My computer. I have over 10 gigs of findings concerning Chernobylite. Great. What am I supposed to do about it? You know how to use Norton Commander? Launch the Rat King program. It will compress the files and upload them to the cloud. Okay. Let's have a look at our companion. Someone's going to dislike this, I'm sure. Let's have a look. This may take some time. It's a 486DX processor with 512 kilobytes of RAM. Well, that will take hours. <laughs> I'm no fucking black hat, but that's way too risky. Let's burn the place down and get the hell out of there. Download the data or demolish the hi hideout. Is the data worth downloading? What do you guys think? Download the data. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Walk me through it, Tarakan. Unlock the computer and type Rat King Death, all uppercase. This will activate the hidden dot .bat file. God. I do love the 90s. <laughs> this is a fucking mistake. Okay. Here we go. Kind of weird that he tells us to do this. Looks like the Black Stalker is enhanced somehow by Chernobylite. <laughs> the NER put him in charge of safeguarding their science secrets. Ah. We kind of already knew that, though, right? From, uh... Like, it's kind of obvious he was using, like, Chernobylite power. Alright, now I go to the computer. Download the data, demolish the hideout. It's too risky to leave all this research behind. Anyone could access it. Sorry, Tarakan, I'm blowing it up. I have a long memory, Mousy. A very long memory. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. 
This sounds funner. Where does it want us to go now? Oh, it's just completed. One skill point, eh? So there is still some Chernobylite in this building that we can access. I believe it's down this lift shaft. And get even further down it now. That door isn't open. There's the Chernobyl light. Oh, what's this? Electronics. Oh, I actually really needed that. That's good. There's another one over here, I think, that we could blow up. But far away, though. Maybe I'll try and sprint over there quickly. There are a lot of enemies here, so we'll see how far we get before we have to leave. On the other side. He tricked me. Shit. Uh oh, uh oh, the black stalk is coming, guys. Oh, wait, this. Oh, no, no, no. That's a trap. That's a trap. These are traps. That's definitely the Black Stalker coming. Maybe we should just go. Right now. <laughs> now Danny can build a force field like he wanted. Yay! <laughs> it's true. What can you use with Chernobylite? You can change your decisions by consuming that resource. It's a gracious twitch with his presence once again. Indeed. Spooky. I thought keeping you close was supposed to increase my chances of survival. Not put me in the ground. What the hell was that? I gave you what you needed to disarm the traps and you did fine. I'm proud of you, Mousy. Yeah, I'm so glad you're on my side. Thanks for nothing. The sharpest Whoa. sword must be forged in the hottest fires of hell. Soon you will see it wasn't for nothing, Mousy. Mission success. Got four food. Well done. Very good. You were just chilling out in the base, shouting orders at me. Uh, okay, normal food, same ration. Fantastic. Let's go. Mate, the zone is absolutely screwed. Right. Uh, upgrade. Do I need to upgrade anything? I think everything's pretty much fine here. I do have two skill points to spend. No, just one actually. 50% more damage from assault rifles. Six more inventory slots. Pretty useful. Everything built and crafted is 10% cheaper or 20% cheaper. Scan environment more frequently. That is helpful. Shotguns more damage. More damage. Run much faster and safely from any height. Health bars increased by three points. Oh, that's very good. And I have to ask him about that one at some point. For now, I think we just could sleep. Actually, do I need to build anything else? I think we're all good. And use this though for my psychic damage. Um, and then we need some anti rads. Make another one. Um, and then we need to heal ourselves. Since sleeping does not heal us. I wonder if we would have had um, enough info on the Black Stalker. 
Oh, if we actually did that quest, we would have had enough info. But clearly there's other places to get info, so it's not essential. <laughs> Only 11 more levels to go until max perks. Yeah, seems pretty simple to get, like, all the perks, to be honest. They are useful, though definitely not essential. Day 18, here we go. I am going to build some more food ration resources, as well as harvest this stuff. Um, build. There we go. Um, where are we? Jesus Christ, go on the table, please. Right, I actually wanted to check this out quickly. I wanted to look at building this with the camouflage, free protection. Well, this has nine protection. Ten, six, ten, six. Ten, six, six. This is quite good. Gives me so much protection. Only minus two movement always in camouflage. Oh, your inventory space is full. Okay. What's up? Bear with me. I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Let's try it out, man. I need to craft some of these to go with it, though. takes battery packs apparently use so I have a force field generator now guys it's pretty cool I need a few of these though to actually make use of all this protection right where are the rest of them? Or is this just a spare one? Just going to put the other stuff in my cabinet of doom. Don't need the ceramic plates now. Um, more ammo. I have so much ammo, Jesus. To build some more storage units. We're just getting filled up with ammo. I do not need everything here. It's ridiculous. Splits. Yes. Come over here. Uh, do we have too much of anything? I think we're good. Alright, next mission. Let's do it. I need Whoa. you to come here this instant. I'm at HQ. What? You better be here soon, or there will be consequences. Kozlov's going to sacrifice me. They left me here, and he is coming after me as well. We both know who I'm talking about. I can't what? trust Kozlov anymore. You have to help me finish what we started. You and me. We're in this together until the end, whether you like it or not. You wouldn't want him to find out the truth, would you? <laughs> I'm waiting in Lenin Square. Make haste, or we're both going to regret it. I guess Ooh. I really am naive, huh? I think you owe me an explanation, old friend. This seems sus AF. Not so sure about this. We've never been to Pripyat Central, but I think we'll be doing that next stream, my friends, because I'm going to end this stream here. So thank you so much for watching it. I'll probably be streaming again, I think, maybe tomorrow or the day after. I will once again schedule a stream uh, so you guys will know when we're going to do that. But thank you so much for watching. I kind of want to turn the camera on again for the next stream. Um, and it sounds like things are going to get pretty intense if we're going to the NR camp once again. So I guess we'll find out what happens. You need to do more killing. It's a sign. Yes, always.
you're you're very right battle brother but uh thank you so much for watching guys i hope you all enjoyed the stream please do leave a like before you leave because it really does help out the uh the performance on youtube and again if you missed anything you can check out the playlist below and you can also grab some 30 percent off g fuel for just this weekend i think it lasts a little bit into monday but then it's it's over so grab it while you can especially if you want to try it out it's uh honestly one of the best tasting energy drinks and also sugar free so a healthy alternative indeed i will catch you guys later have a lovely evening and goodbye